Oh, <laughs> hello there. <laughs> I uh, I initially did a stream doing the uh, Slay the Spire board game, and I was gonna do it as a stream. But about halfway through, I thought, wait, this could actually make a pretty good YouTube video. So I kind of changed my can uh, cadence um, throughout the broadcast, and I'm just gonna upload that. Um, but the first the first half isn't really gonna be like a presented. YouTube video. That's why I'm here now. Hello. Um, but yeah, this will be a full playthrough of uh, all three acts. Well, the first three acts, I, I didn't do Act 4 of the Slater Slayer board game with the Watcher. Um, it was a super fun run. I had a lot of fun playing it, and I'm looking forward to playing way more of this game in the future. Um, I give my opinion about the game throughout, but um, really talk about it a lot at the end of the video. So, anyway, enjoy. Okay. I think that actually works pretty well. Alright, let's get all our cards ready here. Our summon deck. We don't shuffle this one. And our elite deck. Give that a little bit of a how you do. Our event deck. Now I'm not good at shuffling, so we're just gonna give it the old Joel special. We'll be shuffling a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot in this game. We get some days cards and some burn cards. Where do I put my days cards? This here it seems like a good spot for it. Well, this could probably come down a little bit. Okay. Get little. Tokens there, and we'll have to learn about Mantra. So we'll get our. There's a few things we need to do. Still a lot of setup. Doesn't look like I'm doing this randomly, but I am. Um... Oh wow, that's a lot of... Campfires in one place. So this gives it some variety. So the map... There are actually two Act 1 maps. And then on top of that, you doll these out randomly. So it's it's, it's gonna be different, just like the just like the game. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Now where are our mantra tokens? I'll put them somewhere. So since we're playing the watcher, we'll grab our mantras. We're gonna have to learn how this works in the board game. That'd be really cute. Now that I know what to, like, the setup here, this is actually, yeah, this is gonna be fine. Okay, so that's that. Um, anything else? Well, there are some setup things. Well, first, actually, we're gonna need a deck. Although this is the, what, this is the defect. Where's the watcher? This one? So we've got the starting deck for the Watcher, all in these beautiful sleeves, lovely, shuffle it, doesn't really matter, we're going to be shuffling this deck a billion times, I'm going to put that in our draw pile. Um, next up we'll have our reward deck, whenever we get like card rewards, we'll draw three of these and pick one 
give it a very brief shuffle. Again, all of these in beautiful sleeves. These aren't in sleeves, these are. I still have a lot of sleeves left over. We'll see how we go with how I want to dole them out. I followed the guide. Um, for doing it. Now, where do we want our rewards cards? Maybe up here. Oh, I should put in the golden ticket. Oh. Two gold, extra golden tickets. So a golden ticket, if you get it as a reward, you can get a rare card. I reckon one is way too few for, um... I reckon one is way too few for this entire deck. So we're gonna add in three. Empower the player a little bit more. Just a little bit. It's st you're still probably not even going to see one of them, but I'd rather see one than none. So, we're going to have to cut these in and shuffle again. Because I forgot. is watching. Oh, he was watching the tally. Alright. That's that done. Then we have our rare rewards. Just like the video game, of course. What else do we need to do before we start here? Well, you need to pick a boss. Our Act 1 bosses. I'll roll a die for it. With our Slime Boy, the Hexa Ghost, and I can't remember what this guy is called. He's the one that curls up there. Roll the 6. We're gonna get the Slime. I'll show off my little tray here. It's really cool. It's got dividers for everything, right? Like we've got our relics and our potions and boss relics and all this cool stuff. Very, very cool. Very handy. Big fan. Big, big fan. We also need to pick a Nyao's Blessing. Um, solo play has different rules to multiplayer. So I'm just gonna have to check a couple of things. I also get a special, because I'm playing on my own, just a little bonus for the player. We get, we start off with the loaded die. Now, if we just go... <laughs> yeah. Um, set up Nia's Blessing. Shuffle the Nia's Blessing deck. Each player draws one Nia. Nothing different if you're solo. Okay, we do get two coins to start off though, but Niao's Blessing is the same. Might just get a whole bunch of coins out, ready to go. Give ourselves two bucks, and we're gonna get a Niao's Blessing. Oop, these are... Give it a quick shuffle. So we gain three coins and a card reward. That's what this thing here is. So we'll draw three and pick one. Now let's see. Empty body, enter neutral, but two block. Two block for one's pretty good. Can only be played if this is the only attack in your hand. Signature move. Or scrying. Scrying seems like the way to go. I'm going to pick third eye. We'll put these other two on the bottom of the deck. 
and that can just go in my drawer pile. Now we also get to choose one of the blue things here. We can get three potions, get another card reward, or get a relic and lose three coins. I think the relic's way to go. Are you taping me? Looks like it. Okay. <laughs> I will spend the three coins and I'll get a relic. Just like in the video game, relics are super powerful. You're taping me, aren't you? I'm not! <laughs> I will give this a quick shuffle because we were using it last night. I might keep this here. You know what? And I'll do the same with potions. I'll keep these both here. Put them in the frame. Well, some of these are. Yeah. I guess I can't make a coffee now, huh? Because it's gonna screech. I'm so afraid to like press mute or something. I don't know how to do that without fucking restarting my phone for the third time. Oh, so I get to pick a relic. Boom. Horn cleat. So all this is say every turn, every round we're going to roll a die. Um, and it will activate a whole bunch of things. And if I roll a 1 or a 2, I get a block. How cool is that? That's going to pay off, I guarantee it. Okay, is there anything else left to set up before we get going here? Um, I don't think so. I think we're good. I think we can just get straight into the game. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. So here's our Slay the Spire track, just like in the video game. Um, let's see. So I'm going to kind of look at my path here. Hmm. How many merchants are on this side? I do want to fight elite elites though, because you get the relics. There's two up here. It's an extra upgrade station. Oh man, this is difficult. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Maybe we don't. <laughs> maybe we don't go to the merchant in Act One. That's kind of spooky, though. If I take this track, we can upgrade, elite, heal if we need to, elite, heal if we need to again. Then we can upgrade here. I think that's the way to go. But we start off with our first encounter. So we're going to do that. And this is how combat's going to look like. So we're going to put the small slime here. Um, here's his health, attacks, summons if they do it, and rewards. He does summon an acid slime. So we're just going to go through, find an acid slime. There he is, and he's part of the fight. Spooky. Give them a little pip for each of their health. Boom boom. Lovely. And I'm gonna have to read. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of reading. For the um, for the watcher here. It says um, at the start of combat, gain a mantra. No good space for it. And it, if I spend a mantra, I get an energy. Now she's going to start in calm, neutral, or right. You always start in neutral. Let's just make sure. It's a handy little thing for each character in here. The Watcher. Miracle tokens can be used at any time to gain one energy. You can't have more than five at once. Gain miracle tokens from cards and abilities. Starting ability gives you one. You can use miracles to go over the energy limit six is max. If they immediately pay, use to pay for a card. Scry and retain. Read the back of the book for that. We will. Start each combat in neutral stance. The watcher can enter or leave stances, gain different abilities. When you enter a stance, move the cube to a new stance. Neutral. Neutral stance doesn't do anything. Calm. 
When you leave Calm, you gain 2 energy, Wrath. While you're in Wrath, you deal plus 1 damage on all hits. It's the same as having a Strength. This bonus only lasts until you leave Wrath. If you end your turn in Wrath, take 1 damage. Oh, that's very different to the video game. That's actually stronger than the video game. In the video game, you um, take double damage. <laughs> Which is very scary, but that's okay. Much stronger here. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll roll our die, which will tell us what the slime's gonna do. It's also gonna activate these abilities. A four. So I get one block from this. And he's going to attack for two this turn. Cool! Now we'll take our deck. We'll uh, give it a shuffle. I'm going to draw five cards. If you were playing the silent at the start of combat, the first turn, you would draw a seven. Because that's their little... Oh, why did that happen? I know it's in screensaver, but I don't know why it happened because I'm watching a video. Blunderbutt! This game is out in the wild. Excited for this to hit your table. Oh, nice! I think I'm... Um, so, I'm Australian. Um, I think Australia and Japan have gotten most of their copies at this point. I don't know where you are in the world, but hopefully you get it soon. I've done one solo run and I played last night with friends. So we have... This is our first draw. And this turn we know he's going to hit for one and he's going to hit for two. So what I might do... Is, um... Oh uh, yeah, I um, I read, yeah, I read the email, and I'm just like, well, I don't give a fuck anymore because I've got my copy. But I did read the email saying, yeah, the US uh, hadn't got there yet. So what I might do here is play Vigilance, which will knock us down to energy, but it'll put us into Calm mode, give us two block. So we're not going to take any damage this turn. That's good, and we'll strike once. Strike what? Oh, you know what I could do. You know what, maybe I won't do that. Let's think about this turn. I could spend my miracle to gain an energy, go into a eruption, which will give me two energy, and I'll... I might be able to just win the combat. Let's just give it a go. Are those sleeves um, the set from the Kickstarter? Yes! These are the sleeves. I still have a shit ton of extra sleeves, because I think they give you more for... Um, the Ascension unlocks and stuff like that, which are, you know, if you've played the video game, are the harder difficulties. Um, but I'm not there yet, of course. So, okay, so let's do this turn. We're going to spend a miracle, go up in energy, erupt, and do two damage to, I guess, this acid slime. That will cost two, but because we've come out of calm, will go up to, <laughs> right? Because when you come out of calm, you get two energy. But now I have a strength token. So every attack will do plus one. I have two energy. So I'll strike this guy for two and strike this guy for two, killing him. Lovely. And that's the end of what I'm doing here. And it will shift to their turn. This guy will hit for one. Then the fact that I'm in Wrath, I'll get hit for one. And then that's the end of that turn. But I do stay in Wrath mode. I am still in that mode. So these will all go into my discard. And we'll just draw the next five cards. And enter the next phase of combat. How cool is that? Lots of defend cards. I cannot kill him this turn. Oh, this goes back to here, this goes back to here. Um, I just need to block for two. Now I need to know, I need to, I do need to read how Scry works in the board game. Scry, look at the top X. So three cards of your deck. You may discard any number of them, then put any remaining cards on the top of your deck in the same order. You can't scry more cards than in your draw pile. Scrying has no effect. Um, well, eh, I don't need to do that this turn, it's not that complicated. So I think I'll just block for two. 
defend twice and attack once which will not kill him I'll spend all my energy block for two we'll go down two because I still have that strength from being in wrath mode and um, then he'll oh wait hold on we didn't roll the die so a three nothing happens for those that's okay um, and then he'll hit me for one and then wrath mode will hit me for one and we go to the next round we'll draw one card then shuffle our draw pile here it's the first encounter like I'm gonna win on the next turn nothing nothing too special here just grab four cards As long as I get a damage attack, a damaging card, yeah, we're all good. Um, I'm not going to roll, there's no point because we've won the fight. And that's over. So, put this card back in the summon deck, and then we're going to look at our rewards. Um, we'll put away our tokens. <laughs> I say that so much. Um, so, he gets us a potion. So, we'll pick that up. Deal four damage. And a card reward. So we draw a three and pick one. Enter Wrath. Or a flying Sleeves. And it retains, so you keep it. I think I'm definitely taking a Flying Sleeve. That's. <laughs> that's uh, certainly something. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I will go down there. And that's a typical combat. Very simple, but it will get more complex as we go. Sorry, no, <laughs> I like you talking. Alright, so I think I've already decided we're going to just go down. The track we're going to go down, unless something changes, we're just going to follow the right path. So we're going to an event space. See what happens here. The library. Come across an old abandoned library find countless rolls of scrolls, manuscripts and books. So I get to choose one of these two things. I can sleep and heal for three, but I'm on full so it doesn't matter. Or read a gain, reward, or look at five cards instead of three. So I can... I'm definitely going to do that. So draw five and pick one. Look at all these rare ones. Ooh, battle him. I just did a... Watcher run on, um... In the video game. And I use this a lot. Conclude. Hit everything twice. You can't play additional cards this turn. Once per turn, deal one damage if you're in Wrath. Oh, that's different than the uh, game. Deal three to one or two enemies. Ooh. If you're in Calm, draw three cards, otherwise enter Calm. Or draw two cards and enter Neutral. Hmm. Do we want to sort of go like a heavy card draw type of play? Let's see. That's scrying. Typical stuff so far. Um, oh no, once per turn, deal one damage plus one if you're in Wrath. I read that wrong. This might be the way to go. I think I'm taking battle him. Just the damage every turn? It's pretty good. I won't shuffle this yet because we might add more cards to it. Um, and we can put this back. Okay, we'll go up the track. New event card. Transmogrifier. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit, you can pray to transform a card or sacrifice. Transform two cards to gain a curse. I'm going to transform one card I think and I think I'm gonna get rid of one of these hmm maybe a strike or a defend let's see we're definitely keeping that it's probably a bad idea because I'm bad at shuffling to do this so so it's four of each but I have equal ways to gain block and damage so I think we'll get rid of a block 
because when we're in wrath mode these are more effective so we'll transform transforming here means that we're going to um, remove this from the deck permanently and we're just going to take the top reward card windmill strike retain two damage retain means it stays in my hand plus three damage if this was retained last turn whoa five damage for two that's pretty good all right let's get rid of this and we'll do the two-year-old shuffle and then a bad silly joel shuffle afterwards Oh my gosh, I can't do this. Oh my gosh, Megan, save me. I can't get all the cards facing one way. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Okay. Oh. okay. Okay. We'll move up our track, and now we will do an encounter. I'm not doing the first encounters anymore. So a normal encounter here. Fungi Beast, who summons another Fungi Beast. So let's just quickly grab one of those. I hope it's not that last card I left. Fungi Beast. Is it literally? It is, isn't it? Amazing. <laughs> All right. I have to remember to do this. We roll, oh sorry, give myself a mantra. And we roll every turn. I'm so bad at this. I need to roll the die every turn. Six. So that activates a loaded die. I can trigger a die relic ability. Um, both of my abilities are get one block. So I can trigger one of them. We'll do that. It also means that these guys are doing this. This guy's gonna get two strength this turn, yikes. And this guy's going to attack everybody once and get a strength. Wow, that's kind of spooky wooky. Okay. We can deal with it though. We'll... Did that, um... No, he didn't give me any money. Okay. Draw five. Ah, oh, we've got to battle him. Very nice. But maybe I want to rush somebody down. Hmm, don't know what to do here. Oh, you can give two to any player, so that's cool. When you're playing with somebody else, you could go into calm mode and help somebody else out. Because these guys aren't attacking this turn. Oh, we're taking one damage. Maybe I'm best just to go into Wrath and do as much damage this turn as possible. So I could do... I could do two and then four. And then Mantra to battle him and do an extra two. I think that's the way to go. So let's make sure we do this properly. I'm going to go into Wrath mode for two. And we'll hit this guy. A little bit more afraid of that guy. Then we're going to strike him for two, because now we have that strength token from going into Wrath. Should probably actually do that. Um, so that means we hit for two. Then, um, oh, I'm gonna take a damage though. Hmm, I didn't think about that. Oh, well, too late now. Oh, that's all my energy. Well, you know, I could I'll just shift where I did the damage, it doesn't matter. Let's do that instead. Yeah, okay, so I'm not going to hit him. So I'm going to do two, and then two. And then I'll use my mantra to go up in energy. Play a power card, battle him. Once per turn, deal one damage, plus one in fear and wrath. I'm pretty sure I can allocate it anywhere. I'm pretty sure. There's like a thing in the rulebook here that is just like, you can allocate damage however you like. If they're separate, I'm pretty sure. So we're just gonna we're just gonna run with that. 
So that means I'll spend... Um, so for battle him, we're going to do two damage individually. So we'll do one here to kill him. And one here. And that's my turn. I have no retain cards, so nothing will stay here. They'll all go on the discard. And then the enemy's turn. This guy, he just bulks up. Bulking! So he's got two strength, that's kind of scary. And I will take one damage for being in Wrath. Should put down my block, but we're all good, and we'll f go into the next turn. Hopefully we draw that card that does like five damage. Um, we've got him. We've got him. So we'll spend an energy. This will do two damage and two damage because we're in Wrath. So that's four. We'll spend another energy to do another two damage. Wipes him off the board. That's the power of the watch. It's the power of love. But it's the power of the watcher, but also, you know, it can be scary if you're stuck in Wrath mode. So, put the summon card away. We'll go through our rewards. Reset the board here. Yep. Oh, we're not going to be in wrath mode. So we get one coin. We get our. Uh, the coin. The coins are here. I'm showing sure the coins. <laughs> we get a potion. Ghost in the jar. You can't lose more than one HP this round. That's pretty cool. Then we get a card reward. Look, hopefully get one of those golden tickets. Okay, Empty Body pulls us out and gives us block. This gives us a mantra. Draw two cards, you can't draw any additional cards this turn. That's pretty good, because it's free, essentially, because you get a mantra. We'll talk to the hand, two damage, plus one block for each mantra you have. Well, I'm big on spending mantra, so I might take Prey. The coins are very nice, that's true. So put that in my deck, and that's that combat done. Next up, go to a campfire, and I'm going to upgrade a card. Now, what is really cool about the board game here is to upgrade a card, you just pull it out of the sleeve and turn it upside down. But that's uh, like you flip it backwards, sorry. That's a lot of, that's really, like, you don't want to do that to look at what to upgrade. So it's got this handy dandy upgrade chart. So I'm just going to quickly look here. I'm going to zero in on some that battle him. Deal two damage every turn. That seems pretty good. What other cool cards that we get? Prey, get two Mantra. That's pretty cool. Um, what else? Oh, we have Windmill Strike. Where's Windmill Strike? Windmill, where are you? Here. Plus five if you're in Wrath. Oh no, if you retained it. Oh, that's really good. Jeebus. What about our basic ones? Eruption for one. That's pretty good. But I think it's going to be battle, battle him. I think that's the way to go. So we'll take that out of the sleeve, flip it upside down. Now it's upgraded. Sick! Either way I go here is a Duda. So we'll go into our next combat. Just shuffle. And we'll grab our next dude to fight. Blue Slaver. Has 10 health. Oh, I can deal with it. Maybe. We'll see. So we'll roll to see what's happening. I roll the three. <laughs> Sadly, I didn't get anything from these. And he's going to do three damage this turn. So I gotta think about that.
His sleeves are fantastic. I'm a big, big fan. I'm, I'm really impressed. Super impressed by this entire thing. All right. Well, I know for sh I have no defending. Oh no. Hmm. I might ghost in a jar, honestly. So the lose condition is if you run out of health. Hmm. Should I ghost in a jar? Wait, wait. Can I kill him? I could do two. Three, four, five. Not enough. Oh, it might be enough if we use the fire potion instead. If we go into like this, that's two damage. If we do this, that's four damage. If we mantra, do this, that's six damage. And then we fire potion. Yeah, that will kill him. We'll use as a potion, but I'd rather do that than take three damage. If I'd drawn any block cards this turn, I wouldn't need to use this potion, but I think it's the smart thing to do. So I'm not going to bother doing the tracks or anything like that. Just don't need to for this. My maths is correct, my maths is always correct. Alright, I'm a god, not really. So, our rewards is two coins, and a Car reward. Cut through fate or empty fist. Um, empty fist might be good. Oh no, hold on. This draws a card. Card draw is so important. You can also skip the um, card reward. Oh, I might have to start doing that soon. Okay. Next up, we get a treasure chest. I just want to make sure because there are different rules for solo play. I think. You just pick one up, I don't think there's anything special here, but we're gonna check. Relic. Draw a card from a relic deck, you may gain that relic or skip skip it. Yep. No. Um no solo play rules. Nillery's Codex. Draw a card or trigger the two ability. It's own against the effect. Huh? Or trigger any two ability. Oh, so like horn cleat. Cool. I'm all about it. This guy's dead. Next up, we're gonna fight an elite. Spooky, scary. From Donaldson Dairy. And we're gonna be fighting Lagavulin. They have a HP track based on how many players you have. We have one player, so he has 22 health, which means we're going to bring this in. Go 22 health. This seems really scary. Um, with um, cards like this, instead of um, them being dictated by a roll of the die, they just go in sequence. So he's going to spend his first turn sleeping, and then he's going to start sweeping. Roll a die to see what effects happen. A six. So he's asleep. I can trigger. So this affected this. Which means I can trigger anything here. Maybe drawing a card is the best way to go. Yeah, I might do that. Oh, I didn't shuffle this. Let's not cheat, okay? Because <laughs> that top deck was all damage cards. That would have been perfect. Alright, what have we got here? It's kind of lousy. We'll draw another card due to Nilri's Codex, which is activated by Loaded Die. It's another defend card. Kind of shit, because we need to do as much damage this turn as possible. So the first thing I'm going to do is spend an energy to scry. Um, so what this allows you to do, it says scry two. So we're going to take the, the top two cards. We're going to look at them, right? And we can choose to discard either of them. 
right? And then they go back in order on top, okay? So what I'm going to do is discard the strike. And then this will go on top of the deck, but then I draw a card. So now it's in my hand. Scrying's super cool. Um, and then I'll spend an energy to activate Battle Him. For a constant source of damage. That's really good. And then I guess we're just going to play Flying Sleeves for 2 damage. So all up this will do 4 damage this turn. So it's down to 18. And then we'll discard all of our little dudes. He's just sleeping this turn. Now he's going to wake up for 4 damage. Very scary. Because we saw a lot of our defense cards in that initial draw. Or defense cards. Wait, this is 5, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes. Um, now we'll roll the die to see what activates. 1. I get 1 block. Lovely. Right, we could do some stuff this turn. We could do some stuff. But I don't think we can kill him this turn. Thinking. Yeah, it might be next turn. Well... I think we play Prey. Wait, hold on. Let's put our... Energy back. So we'll go down in energy and Prey. Right? I'm going to draw two cards and get another mantra so we can start activating if we want hmm maybe we could kill him this turn maybe do some mass this is the watcher you're gonna like sit here and think so we could spend two to enter calm then mantra both the erupt for two and then do Four, and I'd be out of mana, so I do two, six, and then another four for battle him. Ten. He has eighteen health. Don't think that's very smart. We're not going to do that. So I think the best thing we can do is just absorb damage this turn. Um. So we'll spend two to enter calm. And then we will can either take a damage or spend a mantra. I think we'll spend a mantra. So we'll spend one of these to get an energy to play this. To go up to block. Um, I would scry, but there's nothing in my draw pile, so that's not happening. That's the end of my turn. So these will all go in the discard. But this says retain, so we hold on to this. And if we retain it, it will do extra damage next turn. Oh, but battle him will pop and I'll do two damage. It's a very defensive term, turn, but I'm hoping to pop off next turn. Popping. All right, he gets to go. He does 4 damage, and this symbol means attack everybody. But there's only one player, so that's fine. He'll do 4 damage. Knock me down to 1 block. We're all good. Happy chappies. And we'll go to the next turn. Block resets. Energy resets. And he'll move down the track. He'll do 4 damage to everyone again. And we'll draw our 5 cards. Hopefully, I'm hoping for eruption and a whole bunch of shit. Ooh, oh, yes. Okay, okay. All right, this is going to be an interesting turn. We might be able to kill him. Maybe. Yeah, I think we will. So we retained this card. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Just thinking. 
I feel like my gut tells me I have enough damage to kill him. He has 16 health. That's gonna screw me up. Let's just go for it. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're gonna go for it. So we're gonna erupt. We'll go, and we should track this because it's gonna get a bit <laughs> all over the place. So we're gonna spend two energy to erupt, do two damage, which will put me into wrath, which gets me a strength token. Um, but because we left calm, we'll go back up to energy. Cool. Next. Yeah, we're gonna scry. So we're gonna cut through fate. <sighs> now that we have that strength, it will do two damage instead of one. Perfect. And we're going to, oh, this should go down a tick. We're gonna scry the top two cards. They both defends. I'm going to discard both of them and draw the top card, which is Vigilance. Next, we'll spend one energy to pray, which will give us one mantra. And I draw two cards, but I can't draw any more for the rest of combat. Now we work out if we can kill them. <laughs> Let's see. I have three energy, effectively. Oh yeah, I screwed this up. Okay, that's all right though. Hmm. I'm gonna battle him for four damage here. Because it says once per turn, I can do this whenever I want and I'm in wrath mode right now. So, they'll take him to eight. Eight health. Can I do 8 damage? I think I can. No, I don't think I can. I can do 3... Plus 3 is 6. I would have to... No! Yeah, no, I can kill him. So we... Well, let's... let's. This is why we track everything perfectly. We spend a mantra. We spend another mantra. It puts us up to 3. We windmill strike. Do 3 damage because of the strength token. And another 3 damage because it was retained, puts him to two. And that took two energy to play. And we have one final energy, which we can just strike. And because we're in wrath mode, we kill him. Perfect damage, look at that. A watcher can pop off like crazy. But again, it's spooky scary. So we win the fight. Just resetting things here. And we get our reward. Two coins. Um, a relic. Captain's wheel. If we roll a three, we get three block. That's huge. And a card reward. Is this three? Yes. Okay, golden ticket means we replace it with a red. So the bottom. Hmm. We can put him away. Brilliant. Steal two damage for each mantra you have. I do have Prey, so we have a way of getting mantra. But I tend to spend it immediately. We don't need another third eye. Two damage for one, and if I'm in calm, I weaken. That seems pretty good. Hmm... I kind of want Brilliance just because it's uh, a rare card. I just want to see what it looks like upgraded. Deal three for each. I 
kind of want to take it just because it's rare. Let's do it. We can make further decisions based on that. So now we're going to look for cards that give me Mantra. Alright, we'll move up the track. Now if I go here, I'll have to fight another Elite, but I have taken no damage so far, so... I think that's fine. I think we fight another Elite. So I get to, uh, I'll get to upgrade a card. Oh, battle him needs to, need to remember. So, what do we want to upgrade? Let's look at some cards that I think might be cool to upgrade, and then look at the book. Oh, I think we want to upgrade Prey. Right? Let's have a look. Flying Sleeves. Ooh. Flying Sleeves will hit three times. That's pretty good, especially if we're in Wrath mode. Cut through Fate. The thing that changes is you just... You scry an extra and do an extra damage. That's not a big deal. That's not why I have it. Windmill Strike gets plus two if it's retained. What about Eruption? It costs one. That's a big deal, making that cost one. Pray. Please tell me it gives me two Mantra. So I will upgrade that immediately. Where is Pray? Praying! Where is it? I'm blind. Oh. Um, actually, that's a good... No, they're not. Oh, they are, actually. Just not the starter decks. Thank you. That's going to help me forever. <laughs> um, the upgrade of Prey is you get an extra mantra. So yes, I will upgrade that immediately. That sounds like the smartest thing to do. Now that I have Brilliance as a card. What is you crocheting while I'm being a hyper nerd? Yeah. All right. Next, we fight an elite. Haha, <laughs> centuries. We actually fought this last night, and it was super spooky. A, B, A, B. So we're gonna need to... This guy summons Sentry A and a Sentry B so that there's three for each player. That's a lot of health to get through. This might actually... I'm gonna take a lot of health damage here. Oh. I need power him, not battle him, like as quickly as possible. Okay. So, first thing we do is roll a die. I think I get everything... I think I get something... If I roll any number now, which is good. Roll the one. So I get one block. Not the, probably the worst roll I could have gotten there. That's okay. And they're going to daze, hit for three and hit for five, uh, hit for two. So five damage total. All right. Probably gonna take damage in this fight. We might go. We might have to ghost in a jar. We'll see. Alright, what have we got? There's Battle Him. First turn. That's really good. So I'm definitely playing this, so let's just get this out of the way. Battle Himing. Um, I'll hold on to Windmill Strike so it's stronger. So I guess the only other thing to do here is cut through Fate and hope to get a defense card. Right? So we'll scry two. Let's take the top two cards um, in the correct... it's going to be in order. Um, I'll discard the strike. I could push my luck. No, 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 don't push my luck. Just thinking. No, we'll just take some damage. I think that's the way to go. 
So put that back on the top of the deck and then draw it. And then yeah, I'll spend an energy to block one. This card gets retained, so we'll keep that. The rest will discard. I think I'm gonna take the three damage, which is unfortunate. That's okay. So Century A will go first. He adds a Daze onto the top of my deck. He'll hit for three, two block, one damage, and then he hits for two. Ouch. All right, next turn, we'll roll. Another one. It's unfortunate. So they do. It's the same. They're going to do the same things. Oh, I get to do two damage. I think I'll hit the main dude here. That is unfortunate. Probably the worst roll I could have done. Again. Here's our days. This will disappear at the end of the turn, so we'll just put it back. I think we're definitely gonna um, enter calm. Oh, and we've got this windmill strike. Let's not forget. I think I need to enter calm for sure. So I'll spend two to do that. That's just so cringe. Okay. Can I kill one of them? It's on five. Yeah, I think, yeah, I can kill one. Right, because this will do five damage. But I'll have to spend a mantra to do it. I think that's the smartest thing to do. Wait, no, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. Uh, actually, yeah, I kind of do need to do that. Okay, <laughs> so we'll spend the mantra. To go up in energy. And then we'll windmill strike for five. On this guy, he's dead. These will all discard. And then I've got two damage from Battle Him. Which I'll put on this guy. It's just because he has lower health. Then, uh, well, that's all my energy. Oh, I, um. Actually, I don't take any damage this turn. Yes, yeah, so because I went to Calm. You get two uh, block for that. And yeah, I got one from Horncleat, so that put, puts me at three. This guy is going to add a daze to the top of my deck. This guy is going to hit for three, but I'm safe. Just put my energy back up. This guy's dead, so we don't need to worry about him. Cool. Next round. Four. Wait, I did two damage to this guy, right? Yeah. Um, what happens on a four? Well, I get one block from Loaded Die. These relics are starting to really pop off. Trigger a two ability. Give the owner its effect. This one has a two, so it will go up another block for free. And four means that he's gonna hit for three and he's gonna daze. Get rid of that. I think we can just defend and pray. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we'll pray for one, which will get us two Mantra. And I'll draw two cards. One, and then we're gonna shuffle this bad boy. Yeah, I think we just defend here. I'll third eye. Two. Scry. So take the top three. Keep them in order. Get rid of whatever I want. I think I'll discard the strike. I don't mind drawing these two. Put them back. And I've got one more energy to do something. It's probably a strike, right? Yeah, he, I can't get hurt this turn. So we'll just strike once on this guy. Put him to four, I'll pop battle him, put him to two, and that's that turn. So once you get into a flow with this game, it's pretty quick. There's just a lot of shuffling. That's really... Are you taping? 
feel like you're taping me. <laughs> All right. Oh, we need to roll. Oh, we need to reset our numbers here. Two. Um, I get to draw a card, and this tr and I get a block. And relics are the way to go. Um, I think I can kill this turn. Yeah. Side note, you're on a live thing. Why would you care if I was taping you? You're being taped. You're taping. Because yourself. it's without my knowledge. It's called consent. I'm not taping. It's called consent. I'm taking it. Give, give my arm a break every couple of minutes <laughs> by looking at red. Is that alright? Yes. Okay. Alright, this is going to be a sick turn. Alright, we're going to erupt. Erupting. So we're going to do two damage here to kill him. Boom. Right? Spends two to erupt. But then we get two because we come out of calm. Back to three energy. And we get a strength token. Then, I'm going to Brilliance, deal 2 damage for each Mantra, we have 2 Mantra, but because of Strength, it's 3 damage per Mantra, so we'll spend an Energy and do 6. Oh, I mean, there's so much damage here, we could spend another one to do um, 4 damage here, we've got 4 damage from Battle Him, they are cooked, absolutely cooked. Feel like the deck's starting to come together i might stop accepting card rewards soon because i want the deck to be tight and we'll get our reward so i'll get a two coins get a relic oh when we roll a three we get to draw three cards this is all starting to Really, there's a lot of relics. Um, and a card reward. Another golden ticket. So we'll replace the golden ticket with Ragnar. Oh my gosh. Look at this. So we have Tantrum. Do two damage, enter Wrath, put this card on top of your draw pile. Hmm. Not sure. Wallop. Two damage. Game block equal to the unblocked damage dealt. I really like that card in the video game. Or for three energy, Ragnarok. Five separate hits. And each hit can have a different target. That's really good. But... Well, let's see what it upgrades to. Wallop might be the way to go. You will hit six times. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> if I had a way to play cards for free, that'd be really good. If I had ways to generate energy, I'd get this immediately. I can't use this now. Man, it's, it's a shame to pass this up. Right, Ragnarok is strong. I think Wallop's the way to go. It's offense and defense. And I mean, what's its upgraded form here? Three. Yeah, I think our uh, wallop's the way to go. I like offense and defense in one action. There's a um, cool one energy card for the Ironclad, which is just one damage, one block. It's like, well, that's just strictly better than a strike or a defend. I feel like that aircon's not going. It is. It might just not be. Hmm. I'm getting hot. Baby. Right. An event. That was worth it though. That was good. Wing statue. Uh, you notice an intricate large blue statue resembling a wing. You find gold spilling from its cracks. Maybe there's more inside. Remove a card, lose 2 HP. That's good. Or get two coins. I've got plenty of money. Two HP is pretty big. 
I can rest or upgrade at the next thing. I think I'm just going to get the money. Because I want to not rest and upgrade a card. And rot like... I want to upgrade Wallop. So, we're going to be going in a little risky, a little frisky here. So we'll go up, we'll upgrade Wallop. I think it should be this card here. Oh, it's so funny. My little penis arm comes into frame all the time. You just see the... You just see the knob when I reach over. Watch. Wow, the delay is pretty strong. No, we don't see it there. It happens better. It must be when I'm doing other things, but it comes in all the time. Okay, so we upgraded that, and now we go on to the boss. Yikes. Oh, he only has 22 health. Well, for the moment, at least. Alright. Slime boss. Split. On death, at the start of the next round, summon large slime, acid slime, and spike slime in that order from the summon deck for each player. Okay. Well, I mean, let's just get to it. Um, oh, we need to reset all of this. Starting to see a big problem here. I'm like, oh, I need 22 health, that's no big deal. But no, I'm starting to see a problems arise. Maybe I should have healed. Might not make it to the end of Act 1. First thing we'll do is roll the die. Five. That gets me one block. And that's it. Man. If I ever roll a three. Jesus Christ. Block doesn't help me this turn, unfortunately. Brilliance, pray, battle him. Okay, we've got some stuff going on here. I think I know exactly what I'm doing this turn. So we'll battle him. I'm getting this first turn every time. That's so good. And then we'll pray. Get two mantra. And draw two cards. Okay, it's pretty good to get to draw all the strikes and defense this turn. Oh, I played pray. And then I'll brilliance for uh, six damage. And I'll battle him for two. So eight damage on the first turn. Not bad. Uh, let's see. Two, six, he's down to 16 health. And he's going to give me three of these. Go in my discard pile. We'll deal with those when we get there. Alright, next... We're going to shuffle anyway, but I'm going to make sure they sort of go in. Not all stacked together, because I'm not the best shuffler. Okay, next round, we roll. Roll the two. That means I get a block. I'm so sorry, we'll reset that. We get a block. We get... and we draw an extra card. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. On oh, this turn, he's going to hit me for three and add two more of those shitty cards. I was hoping to go into calm mode this turn, but we didn't get it. Actually, yeah, we're just going to have to hit him a bunch. So, what I'll do. I already know what I'm doing for the turn. We're going to retain both of these. We'll spend two to wallop. 
which hits for three. And because I hit for three, um, I get three block. Very good. And then uh, I have one energy left, so we'll just we'll just hit him one more time. We'll let that be the turn, because he's yeah nothing really bad happened. So we'll hit him once here, and then battle him for two. It's down to eight health. And when we kill him, it's just the start of the fight. He'll hit me for three. One, two, three. So we're safe there. And he'll add two of these to my discard pile. So I'm going to start drawing these when we shuffle. Roll. Roll the one. It gives me one block, and that's it. Which is not the turn we need it, because he's going to hit me for six. One, two, three, four. Shuffle this. I think this fits in frame pretty well, but yeah. yeah. Five. And let's not forget our retained cards here. Wait, where was Carl? Oh, it must be in my hand now. Vigilance. Alright, so he's gonna hit for six. I think like the... Well, I could kill him. Oh, on death at the start of the next round. So yeah, if I kill him this turn, he's not going to hit me at all. So maybe I should just go ham. We did retain this, so this does 5, 6, 7, and battle him is 8. Okay. Yeah, I might just do that. Five, six, seven, and maybe we scry. No, let's not scry. No, I can set up the next turn if I scry. No, because you draw a card. Yeah, I think we kill him. So I'll play these three, but that will force me to use a mantra. Because it's four energy. And that will be the turn. We'll kill him. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let's track it properly. Let's not be an idiot. I'm taking my mantra back. Chill. Hey, chill, 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 chill. What are we doing this turn? Let's think. Let's use our brain. I think we spend two to do five. Right? We battle him. Well, let's just do five. We battle him for two. Now I don't have to spend a mantra at all. We just strike. And he dies. That's much better. I forgot about battle him. Oh wait, I already... Yeah, that's not the discard pile. So he's dead. But when he dies... On the start of the next round... He will summon a large slime... A spike slime and an acid slime in that order. Large, acid, spike. Oof, this could get spooky. That's why I wanted to enter calm last turn so that I could. Um... But this motherfucker has 12 health? Bruv. All right, yikes, let's roll and see what happens. A one again, Dude, this is killing me. It's not so bad from them though. So I get one block for that and we know what they're doing. Um, I can pay energy to get rid of these, but I think I'm just going to let them keep cycling. 
cycling. Let's see, I think I scry. Right? I think that's smart. So scry through I get two block. So we're safe this turn. Wait, it should be this order. And we can discard any of the ones that we want. I'm discarding all of them. Um, so that was one energy to do that. Um, I'll battle him, this guy. Attack him for one, it's strike. It's so annoying. And I'll leave it at that, I guess. Because I don't want to enter wrath mode. Oh, I could. I could kill. Oh, you know what? If I do. Hold on, let's go. Let's go back. Oh, shit. No, I scried. I played this. That was one energy. And then I said I played strike, but let's go back. Let's go back in time. If I erupt and pay a mantra, I can kill him. Be safe. I should be on four block. No, I should be on three block. Do I want to be in Wrath next turn? That's the question. Yeah, Wrath's not that scary in the board game. And that means I kill him this turn and I don't get a Daze card. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. I have to spend a... Well, hold on. No. Let's go back in time even further, because I'm a fucking genius, okay? We scried. We're going to erupt on this guy. Two damage for the erupt. Then once per turn, deal two damage plus two if you're on wrath. So that will kill him. So he's gone. That way I don't spend any mantra. And he doesn't daze me. And I still don't take any damage for the turn. That's way smarter. You're a fucking genius, Joel. Genius! I have a little strength token too. Alright, we roll for the next- oh, and then they hit me- hold on, no, we need to make sure we do their stuff properly. Jump on the gun here. He hits me for one. I'm in wrath mode, so I get hit for one. And I get weakened three times. Okay. Now we roll. One. I've rolled one. So many times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this this is a good draw. This is a really good draw. Okay, now we just need to read how weak works specifically. Weak. Add a token to the target up to a limit of three per player or enemy. A player or enemy with one or more of these tokens attacks each uh, sword in the attack deals minus one damage and then one token is removed okay and multi-hit ones you still only remove one thing okay hmm I think I'm okay. Oh, roll the one so we know what they're doing. I'm, I'm perfectly fine this turn. So we'll spend one, get two mantra, and draw two cards. One. Two. Okay. Now this isn't an attack, so this isn't affected by... This isn't affected by, um... The weak. So I can do 4 damage to this guy. Like this. Right? Hmm. Maybe that's not the best thing to do. Let's think first. I could wallop... Here. 
No, I should Brilliance first if I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to have weak tokens anyway. So what we'll do... Um, I don't know if every weak token applies. Weak. Add a weak token to the target up to a limit of 3 per player or enemy. When a player or enemy with one or more tokens attacks, each damage in the attack or enemy action deals minus 1 damage, then one token is removed. Oh, so it happens... I think I understand. No, I still... my answer's not... my question's not answered. My answer's not questioned. Okay. Well, we're going to be spending a lot of mana this turn. Let's do this. I'm going to strike. This is purely just to get rid of the. get rid of a token. Doesn't do any damage. I'll strike again. Same thing happens. Then I'll mantra for an energy. Actually, wait, no, hold on. Because I'm doing two damage with each of these. I don't know if they all apply. I think they all apply. I think they all apply. So I would have done minus three, then minus two. And now it's minus one. So I've spent a mantra. Minus one. This will do two damage four times. So eight damage. Yes. So I should do this. It's three damage because of the strength, but negative one because of the weak. So it's two damage three times. Oh, that's not eight. That's no four times. Yeah, that's eight. I'm like, what are you, a dummy? Goes to four health. Then I'll battle him to kill this guy. Yeah, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Right? And all this guy's doing this turn is giving me weak, so I'm actually fine. I don't need to, like, pray or anything. So yeah, you know what? Oh, and I take one damage for being in wrath mode. There we go. And we'll go into the next turn, but this is... This is... Uh, this is Jova. Roll a die. Five. That means I get one block, and that's it. Have not rolled a three. A three is an incredible roll. It won't give it to me. Oh, and he gave me a weak last turn. That's the only thing he did. So, I'll strike for one damage. Oh, let's reset my energy. Strike for one damage. Plus one because of strength, minus one because of weak. He goes down, and then I'll just battle him in. And he's dead. I kicked that boss's ass! Oh my god, he didn't even hurt me. I saw a four mantra. Battle him on the first turn is like... A way to, like, that saves me. Cool! So now... We get the... Reward. Yes, because I was hoping you would say your eternal reward. So we get three coins, just trading out two for a five. I may as well reset these here. Then we get a boss relic. Now, this does have a solo rule from memory. Um, where is it? Boss relic. Reveal. One boss relic per one boss relic per player plus one, or reveal three instead of playing solo. You can take it or skip it. 
Let's get three boss relics. I'll shuffle the deck because we did fuck around with this last night. We could upgrade three cards, we could gain energy, an extra energy for every turn in the game, and then I can't gain gold. I have 14 gold. This is really good to get later on in the game. Or get four card rewards and then discard it. I don't want my deck getting fatter. I want it to, I want to trim it down. I don't want my dick getting fatter. Oh, you want my fat dick? Do you want my fat dick, Megan? Megan. <laughs> Upgrading three cards seems really Perfect, good. John. Yeah. Um. Oh, we gotta put these back. So I could upgrade three cards. It might be the best one here. Um, I don't know. An upgraded Vigilance and Eruption would be pretty good. And a Brilliance? I might upgrade. I kind of want to keep... It's too early to turn away gold. The extra energy is good, but man, we've got Prey for Mantra. I think we're alright. What other cards would we want to upgrade here? We'll consider Scry. Prey is already done. Cut through Fates Light, Flying Sleeves, and Windmill. Let's look. Having cheaper calm and eruptions would be good. Okay, so vigilance doesn't get cheaper. You just get an extra block. This brilliance. I think so too, maybe. Brilliant. Steal three for each mantra you have. Three. Two's already pretty good. And it's conditional. What is our windmill strike? Plus five if retained. So seven damage if I just hold on to it. I think we do windmill strike. I think we do eruption. Cut through fate. Just does an extra damage and scries one more. Who cares? Well, what about flying sleeves? I think flying sleeves. I think we upgrade these three. Oh, wait, what about that scry one? Third eye. You get an extra block and you scry five. Ooh. Maybe flying sleeves will leave and we'll upgrade. We get, we're doing a lot of things to do a lot of damage. I don't need to upgrade this. I think upgrading third eye is the way to go. Nice. So we'll take astrolobe. It gets discarded and like as soon as you upgrade the card, so these can all go to the bottom of the deck. And what, I, what did I choose? I chose these three to upgrade. I think upgrading Eruption, I know it's a basic starter card, but having it cost one is a difference of an entire third of your of your like your resource, you know, your energy. That's a really big deal, right? And you're going to be erupting pretty often. Oh yeah, but it doesn't matter. I don't think anyone's watching anyway. Yeah. No, I have no viewers yet. That's okay. Yes, I am. And I'm going to go back too because I haven't done that yet. A bit. Uh, it's not the right color. A stingray. What is oh, it? It's, it's something in the ocean. A, a fish. Yeah. A shark. A dolphin. Just tell me. Nice. This is the top piece. And then you do the bottom piece and then the top one. Sick. This is taking me about an hour to do. Okay, cool. Take me forever to make stuff. 
All right. Well, I think I will move on to Act 2, which I've never done. I say never, I got this, I opened this a fucking day ago. Um, why don't you make a copy of what you've got now? Watches that you going to do. Sure, there's going to be an easy way to mute. I just don't want to... I just don't want to fuck with it. <laughs> it's going to be so loud. I guess, but... I mean, I can, yeah. I'll just do it. Yeah, you're right, I should just do it. No one's watching anyway. Just give a warning in case anyone can. Yeah, I guess. It's gonna be loud. And we'll move on to Act 2. This is... I am actually so happy with how this has turned out. Like, the, um... Um, you know... Just another way, I have made your life. Whose idea was it to stream it? Mine or yours? Yours. But whose thing did No, you no, no, I, no, I wasn't... I wasn't <laughs> being a dick, I was legitimately... I was asking if you were just like, oh, maybe you should stream this. Jesus Christ! <laughs> you, just, think you think I'm always on offense? Alright, I'll make a coffee. Fuck it. So, we're back. So I'm pretty sure I've set up Act 2 here, but some things happen when you switch Acts, which I've not read about yet. So, let's find out. Set up for Acts 2 and 3. Act decks. Replace the things with the next one. Did that. Shuffle all decks against except summon. Boards it up. Repeats steps 5 through 9. I've done all that. Wall of the board. No tokens did that. Character figure did that. Reveal the boss. We're about to do that in the boot. Yep. Heal. All players heal to their maximum uh, hit points at the start of Act 2 and later acts. Awesome. Back up to full. And finally, shuffle your card rewards deck. Include any cards you skipped. Don't shuffle rares. Okay. Is that it? I don't get another Neow's Blessing. I feel like it said somewhere that you get a blessing, or is that just like an ascension thing, or I thought I saw this somewhere. Oh, this is just if you quick start. To start the game in Act 2 or later, use the table below. Oh, there's an Act 4? Oh, I guess there would be an Act 4. Oh, they've, they've like added that in. Nice. Yeah, so I was reading the hours bonus here, but we're not, we're not doing that, so. Okay, cool. So we'll roll a die here to see which boss we fight. We fight this guy. I think this is a guy that summons a bunch of dudes in the video game. I'm glad I, like, played a bunch of runs of the video game before I did this. <laughs> Especially playing the Watcher. Right, we'll put those cards away. So that's done. We've set up our track here. Um, I think we're good to go. Oh, it said shuffle my rewards deck, and it said shuffle these, so I'll just quickly do that. There's golden tickets are like at the bottom there, so I need to make sure I like thoroughly shuffle. Yeah, this will be the third time I played this. I did a solo run with the Ironclad and got to the end of Act 1. Then I sort of like DM'd a, um, a group game. I didn't actually play that. Um, but I sort of, yeah, I DM'd my three friends playing it last night, and today I decided to stream it, because why the fuck not? And my partner here has an amazing little phone tripod thing, and this has actually worked out perfectly. I'm really excited about this, uh, this game. It's actually super fun. But yeah, we've never gone past Act 1. So... 
yeah, I mean, this is going to be fucking sick. And I'll be uploading this uh, to YouTube, I think. Maybe later today. We'll see how we go. Time-wise. Those popping in for Act 2 here. We've got a bunch of... I purposely went and fought a bunch of Elites to get these Relics. We're still holding on to one potion. And because I'm playing on my own, I have this loaded die. For $14. Beautiful metal coins. Um, as part of, like, whatever... I mean, I kickstarted this, like, a <laughs> year and a half ago, so I don't remember what pledge level I did, but... I'm pretty sure that's part of it. Alright. And we'll start on the track here. Um... Got our little boot, which starts with the first fight. So, we'll do that. Chosen. It's got 14 health. And he follows an order for attacks. Alright. Roll a die to see what activates. Actually, I've got the order wrong for this. <laughs> the arm and activation. I'm supposed to draw my cards first, then roll. And then you choose the abilities. Which is better, actually. Well, yeah, but I didn't read, because I don't read. So I get one block from activating Horn Cleat. And that's the only thing that happens. Alright, so this guy's going to attack everybody for one, and then um, add a daze to the top of my deck. But then the next two phases are the, are the scary ones. This is a pretty shitty draw, to be completely honest. So I might just... I'll play Vigilance to go into Calm, so I can pop off later. Get to block. And I'll just Brilliance. I have one, you start off with one Mantra in combat. So I'll do two damage for each Mantra I have. Two damage. And that's my turn. Into the discard pile as all goes. He'll do one damage to everybody. And he'll add a Daze. At the top of my deck. And he moves on to the next track. So yeah, we gotta <laughs> we gotta sort this out. So one, two, three, four, five. Next round of combat. We can look at these now. It's a pretty average. Roll a three, please. I haven't rolled a three yet, and my threes are so good. Roll a five. That just means I get one block. We'll just reset our tracks here. Boom. One block. He's gonna hit me for three this turn. Hmm. Unfortunate. I'll pray. Gets me two mantra. And I draw two cards. There's battle him. That's what we want to see. Um, I'll battle him. So it's a power. Once per turn, I can do two damage or plus two when I'm in wrath. I can't get to wrath this turn, so we'll do the two damage. And then, I've got one energy left. I think what I'm going to do is spend a mantra to go up one energy, then spend both to wallop three damage, gain block equal to the unblocked damage I do. So I'll bring him to seven, and we'll put me up. Awesome. This goes back here. We discard our cards. And we'll go into his turn. He'll hit me for three. And add two dazes. To the top of my deck. He'll move down the track. So again, if you're interested in this game, you can see I'm flowing through turns pretty quickly here. Which is nice, because sometimes, like, the bigger a board game gets, the more complicated it gets, and you don't really get to fucking play it. So that's my draw. Um, 
we'll reset our track here. I'm gonna roll a die. Uh, we'll do the cocked, cocked dice re-roll. It actually would have been an amazing, if I got a two, that would have been really good. It would have activated most of these, but I do the, if it's cocked at all, you just re-roll. It's easier, it's cocked again, and that's a three. Okay, a <laughs> four. Um, four means loaded die activates, I get one. And trigger a two ability, it's only gains the effect. I only have, I can draw a card or get a block. I might get the block, because I don't think I'm hurting for drawing cards this turn. I think I'm hurting for block. So I'll activate Hornclete. Cool, just gonna get rid of these now. All right, he has seven health. Um, hmm. Well, I'm definitely going to draw first, so we're going to play this, do one damage, scry two, which means we look at the top two cards of the deck, and we can discard them if we like. I'm going to keep both. Oh, uh, mm, no, do I want to erupt? Can I kill on this turn? Yeah, I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because we keep the order, I'm going to discard this card. Oops. This goes back on the top of the deck, and I draw a card. Eruption. So, Eruption only costs one now, which is fantastic. So we're going to Erupt for two damage, takes him to four. Alright, it puts me into Wrath. Because I came out of Calm, we get two energy, we get a Strength token. Alright, he's dead, alright. We'll um, hit him here, that's four damage for one energy. That's two damage for one energy, and because I'm in wrath mode, I can do four damage wherever I like. So he's mega dead. Mega dead. So we'll go through our rewards. We get one coin. I need to go to a merchant. We get one potion. Change the die to any number before accepting the roll. <gasps> That's amazing. And then a reward. I'm getting to the point where I don't really want to add many cards anymore, I don't think. Two cards that um, bring me back to neutral. Or um, one that puts me into wrath. I don't like any of these. My deck's pretty strong how it is. We're going to just refine from now on. We're going to be skipping a lot of um, card rewards here. It's like a noob trap, I guess. Like, even in the video game, it's just like, oh, you know, card reward. Yeah, I want a new card. It's just like, well, not really. I mean, my deck's really strong. I have a rule when it comes to card games where if you draw a card, let's say once or twice, and... Let's say you draw it two times, right? And both times you couldn't play it. Probably shouldn't be in your deck, right? It's just like a general rule. Obviously you might really want that card because it like makes some sort of combo happen, but I mean this applies to like competitive card games like Hearthstone or whatever, but like deck building games too. You could have a very powerful 30 card deck where you're sifting through, hoping to draw the five cards that you need to make the deck work, or you have a really powerful five card deck where you always have those cards. All right. It's so wise. It is. No, it's a, it's a noob trap for people who get into deck building games. They see shiny new card, I'll just take it. But you might actually, even if the cards are really strong, it might, it's diluting your deck. Do you know what I mean? So it's not always the best choice. Alright, well let's see our track here. Where do we want to go? Well, this kind of looks good. I want a merchant. But I don't see one on this path, because we could go event, upgrade, elite, upgrade. Hmm. Hmm, this is not good. Do I skip a merchant again? I wonder if there's an event card that lets you get a merchant. 
There's a merchant here. Go bang, bang, bang. Upgrade. And then I can't get... Oh, there's one elite. Actually, I don't think it's possible for me to fight two elites. Or unless I go down this path. But then I don't get an upgrade. Hmm. If I go this way, it's two merchants, which is too much. I think we go down like this. That no merchant. So this money's worthless. Oh, Damien! <laughs> oh, I don't even know if he's still here. Yeah, you. there's always a fight at the bottom. Always a fight at the bottom. God damn it. <laughs> it didn't come up that he was talking. I feel silly. Um, alright. I think I'll go... The camera angle looks great. It does look great. It does look great. I'm really happy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take this path. And I can always correct course if I'm in trouble. Alright, event. Pray, gain two coins, or gain seven and a curse. Well, <laughs> there's no merchant on the path, so I'll just take two coins. Go up. We'll upgrade a card. It's going to be brilliance at this point, right? We're running out of good cards to upgrade. Does cut through fate make me draw too? No, I think I just scry for more. I wish I had noticed Damien, I feel bad now. Um, where's the... Yeah. Cut through fate... No, you still only draw one. I only want it for the card draw, so yeah, we'll upgrade for lens. I'm gonna go to that elite. All right, uh, elite. Book of Stabbing. What? We'll have a look at the screen, you'll see what it looks like. It's literally like a hand with a dagger coming out of a book. It's like a genie. Oh man, this guy gets strong really quickly. Painful stabs. After the Book of Stabbing Axe, gain days if it dealt unblocked damage to you. Yikers. He has a lot of health too. Yikers! I'm Lieutenant Yiker. It just disappears. I need a better way of doing this. <laughs> Join the conversation. Or maybe if I just click that, it will... Oh my god. Oh no. Thanks, Megan. <laughs> you fucked you me. Can I just go back? No, it's not letting me. <laughs> it's fucked! Hold on, now I need to fix this. And now if anyone chats, I'm not going to see it. Well, I'm okay with chat. It's still... Oh, okay. How... You've just lost your screen. What? You're still streaming. You've lost your screen. You've lost your screen. Yeah, no, I know, and I'm still streaming. How do I close this? It's... I'm trapped. Babe, I'm trapped. Do I want to exit the app? Yes. Get me out of this. <laughs> That's alright. We'll take a quick little break here. Oh, I thought someone was watching, but it's just you. <laughs> it's you. No, no, no. Nothing about the stream's gonna change, it's just whether or not I see it or not.
Okay, anyway, back to what we were doing. Yeah, you're one, and that's another. No, it take it doesn't, it's not an active counter. Since when did I unmute that? Alright, anyway, back to what we were doing before we were painfully interrupted by my soon to be. My love of my life, my sun and my stars. Okay. So we're gonna roll a die. Hopefully something cool activates. Like it's cocked. I just have a hard rule about cocks in this house. I rolled a two. Hard cocks. Hard cocks. So both Nilri's Codex and Horncleat activate. So I get one block and I draw a card. I've yet to roll a three, which is my most powerful fucking draw. That was a really good draw. Okay. So he's going to do two damage this turn. So that's not too scary. I'm not worried about that. Hmm. So we'll pray for one. Get two mantra. And draw two cards. Well, we don't want those cards anyway, so. That's good. I'll spend one to battle him. Battle him? Hardly even know him. <laughs> um. I'll spend a mantra, I think, is the way to go here. To get energy, and then spend it to get two block, and go into calm. I think that's probably the best I can do this turn, but I need to kill this guy. We retain windmill strike. Everything else goes into the discard pile. And then he'll hit twice, bang bang, and he'll gain a strength token, which is terrifying. But he didn't do any damage to me, so I don't get dazed. It's going to be the main uh, thing we deal with here. One, two, three, four, five. Well, brilliance. That's good, but we only have two. Oh, this is a shit draw. Okay, roll. A six. I can trigger a relic ability. If I draw for three, maybe drawing's the way to go. I can draw or block for three. If I block for three, I won't take any damage. But, I mean, that's not getting me closer to killing him. And we need to kill him because he's just going to get stronger every turn. So, one, two, Three. Is that all I get on a six? Yes. Okay. I can pop off this turn. I can pop off. So what I might do... I think we just erupt. We start the turn off, we erupt for one. We're up to full one. We do two damage. And we enter Wrath. Because we were in Calm, we go to four. Okay. Then I think we... we definitely Brilliance. That will do eight damage, because I have two Mantra. That's really strong. Oh, he's on seven at the moment. To nine. It's down to 19. Costs one. Oh, yeah, I have this. Let's not forget about this. Um, this does eight for two. That's pretty fucking good. I have one. Oh, battle him. We can do four damage because I'm in wrath mode. He's almost dead. Holy shit. I really have a strong deck going here. I got a big strong dick. Got a big strong fat dick. I refined it. I'm just looking at my partner every time I fucking say something. <laughs> um, what I'll do is I'll third eye. Get three block. I'm a scry for five. 
Um, it doesn't reset the thing, unfortunately. Wallops there. We're gonna keep that right where it is. And then I'll spend a mantra to get one energy to defend, to get the final block so that I don't take damage. And that's that turn. And that's the power of the Watcher. I think I did over 20 damage that turn. Okay, so he's gonna hit for three, but he has a strength token, so he's gonna hit for four. Oh, I should have a strength token too. Oh no, I will take damage. Fuck. So, oh well, you know what? I had another defend. I'll spend the mantra to get the defend. So he'll hit for four. And then I'm ending my turn in Wrath, so I'll take one damage. Um, and he will get another strength token. And then he's back to this. But I'm hoping I kill him this turn. If not, I, I think we'll be alright. So we'll draw our first card, and then we've got to shuffle the rest. Yeah, I just need to find two damage. No, he has seven. I need to find three damage. Yeah, I don't think uh, anyone's said anything. It's hard. There's a chat on my screen, but it's covered by this. So... Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know what's going on. So, four. Five cards. I just need to find three damage and I've won the fight. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot here. So, uh, let's just reset our counters here. I do, I'll play Wallop for two, um, deal four damage, puts him down to three, and I get four block, fuck Wallop's so good, and then battle him for four, he's dead. I was scared, but I mean we rushed him down and didn't take any damage. I'm like in love with the Watcher at the moment. Watching. So I'll get two coins. Um, let's just reset everything. Um, two coins. A relic. Sundial. If I roll a two, I get two energy. But if we roll anything on the die right now, it's just good. I'll still never roll a three. What's um this special? It's got a different symbol here that I haven't seen before. Upgrade card reward. This is just like a card reward above, but you, but the card you pick is immediately upgraded. Ooh. So we get our normal three. Troy, stop laughing at me. So, whatever we pick here, if we pick anything, will be upgraded. I killed him for the relic, and the relic's really good, so... Let's see, protect... That's right, but he said it's alphabetical order. P. P, 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 P. Upgrade protect is four block for two. But it's retained, that's really good. Retaining cards are really strong. Yeah, that could be my oh shit button. I will take this. Upgrade it immediately. Into the deck it goes. That's that dude dead. Alright, go up the path. We upgrade a card. I'm running out of cards that aren't upgraded, to be completely honest here. Cut through fate, it's not really worth it. I think we do... Vigilance, because I always want to go into calm mode. Just gives me three block, instead of two. Not that big of a deal, but yeah, we're it's slim pickings at the moment for upgrade cards. Oh, let's reset our track. Okay, next, where do we go? I think we go up here, 
And if something really terrible happens, we'll dodge the elite. And if not, we'll kill the elite. So we'll do a combat. Another chosen. Oh no, we didn't fight a chosen before. We fought something else, I think. Right, I didn't shuffle this before. God, the sleeves feel so good. I'm like, pee pee! Okay, um. <laughs> we'll roll a die. Roll a four. That means we get one block from the loaded die. And we trigger a two ability. Right, so, which means I can either get one block or two extra um, energy. I think I'll take the two energy. Yeah, up to five energy, baby. Cool. We'll wallop for three. That's three blocks for me. Actually, well, no, 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 Different order, different order. First, we cut, we cut through fate. So we'll scry two. Oh, he'll take one damage. We'll scry two. There's battle him. So we'll discard strike. Then draw battle him. We'll play battle him immediately because it's the best fucking card in the game apparently. Then we'll wallop for two. So three damage to you, three block for me. Then we'll spend our last energy on a strike. Just for one damage. We'll retain windmill strike. The rest will discard. And that's my turn. And Sundial, what a amazing relic to pick up. Go to the Chosen's turn, it does one damage. And he puts a day's card in the deck. And he moves along the track. Alright, next turn. Number five. Let's not forget about Windmill Strike. Get rid of our day's card. Okay, not a very powerful turn this turn, but that's okay. Reset our track. Hmm. Well, I think I'll vigilance. Enter calm mode. Get out. Oh, we didn't roll the die. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A one. It's the worst roll I can get, actually, as a one. It just gives me one block. Okay. Now, we will vigilance to go into calm mode. Energy, three block, and I'll um, I'll just do a normal strike, I think, and we'll battle him. So that's three damage, and we retain these three cards. We need a little retain deck now, right, and we played the strike for the damage. Okay, so these will go on the discard pile. Go to his turn, he'll do three damage, but we're fine, and he'll add two dazes, which is very unfortunate. Next turn, draw five. <laughs> we'll uh, get rid of our dazes here. Days of our life. Zip. <laughs> he moves along the track. Oh no, he was summoned! Fuck! Well, I'll summon it now, but... Shit. He summons a bird. Alright. You know what, I'll summon two, because I fucked up. I didn't check. We'll just make it so he summons two. Punk. 
punish me, Daddy. Alright, we'll roll the die. A four. Triggers a two ability. Well, first I get one block. Oh, let's reset our track. We get one block from loaded die. We get to trigger a single two ability. So we can draw a card, get a block, or get energy. I don't need energy. I think we need to draw a card. Yep, we'll draw a card from Nilri's Codex. Well, that's basically the most perfect thing I could uh, draw. They're both. Uh, he's gonna do three damage. He's gonna do two damage. We're gonna try to kill him. So we'll play prey. For one, so it gives us two mantra and draw two cards. Oh. My dick was on the floor. Okay, so we've got. I think we can kill him this turn. If not, we'll be alright. I think. Actually, mm. we'll see. So the next thing I'm gonna do. No, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Next thing we'll do is we'll erupt. Um, Bird takes a max of one damage from each of those, so I'll put this on him. Um, so that cost one to play, but I can't. I come out of calm, which means I get two energy. Next, I'm gonna battle him and allocate four damage to a bird. I'll kill this one because it does more damage. And it's not affected from this because it's not an attacking card. Battle him's done. Next. Deal three damage for each mantra you have. Oh, sorry. We are, we are, have a strength token from Entering Wrath. And I have yeah, three energy, so we'll spend one. Oh, I've got these. I've got these as well. I forgot my retained cards. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. So I spent one to brilliance. We'll do three for each mantra, but it's four for each mantra. Three mantra, twelve damage. This guy's dead. And then finally, this guy. I have two energy. Um. Can we kill him? You can only ever take one damage. This is one, two, three. I can't kill him, so we need to block this turn. He does two. So I think I'll just spend two on... But he does two, I'll take three. So I'll scry. Spend one. Get three block. And I can scry the final card of the deck. It's a defend, which I'll just discard it. And I've got one... Um, one more energy. I'll play Flying Sleeves. And do two damage. Because my strength doesn't hurt him. And that's that turn. Oof! What a turn. I did technically cheat this combat though, it feels bad man. Um, it doesn't matter, next turn, well he'll hit me for two. I'll take one damage from being in Wrath, but I can battle him immediately, he's dead. No point going through the motions there. Alright, he's dead. Can we get two coins? Swivel. Two block. The next attack you play this turn costs zero. Um, 
Indignation. If you're in Wrath, I guess I get to apply a Vulnerable, otherwise enter Wrath. <laughs> Shimmering Fury. Your damage deal plus one additional damage while in Wrath. Wow, it's a power. Hmm. <laughs> Thinking, I don't know. This is my battle stance, but... Um... Am I going to be mad when I have this and I need block? That's the question I'm asking myself. Because this only pays off when I'm in Wrath mode. In a long fight, this will be good. In a short fight, it might be catastrophic. I think I'm going to take it. What's its upgrade? Let's have a look. Its upgrade is you do an extra one. Which would be incredible. Mm, I could really start chunking people. I'm going to take it, but let it be known, I could lose because I've just picked this card up. I'm saying that out loud for when it happens. And I can be mad at myself for it. Okay. Okay, well, that went fine. Let's go to an event space. I got all my rewards here, yeah, we're all good. Event. An old creature stops scrounging through the trash to approach you. Noloth hungry, feed Noloth. Okay, I can give a random relic and gain a rare card. Uh-uh. <laughs> give a potion, add a random rare card to your deck, or leave. My potion's a really good dude. But it's a rare card. Babe, what do I do? Do I do nothing or do I give up one of my amazing potions? Girl. You say girl, I don't know. Gambler's Brew is so good with my setup here. Oh, is it fishy? Yeah. Very nice. Is that, are you just doing that for the market? Yeah, this is the top. Very nice. You're very talented. I think I'm going to... Oh, the rare card could be dog shit. Um... And it dilutes my deck. But it could be incredible. Let's look at some rare cards for an example of what I could get before I make a stupid decision. Ooh. Ooh, there's some good stuff here. Ooh, there's some good stuff here. I'm gonna do it. Let's have some fun. We'll give up Gambler's Brew. So to the bottom of the pile with you. We're gonna take the top one, um, the top card from the rare rewards. Rewards, rewards. Draw five cards exhaust. That's incredible. Okay, that was a good choice. <laughs> that was a very good choice. I'll go to the elite. Uh, reset my track here. Oh. All right. Let's pull an elite. We already killed one. Okay, Taskmaster. Blue slaver and a red slaver per player. Let's add these. Torchhead. Blue slaver. Red slaver. Oh, this guy has. Oh, oh, hold the fuck on. He's a beast. Not really, he has 13 health. 
if I kill him though, I get to maybe get an upgraded card. That's kind of cool. 13. Oh, he just does the same thing every turn. Might be best to bum rush him. Because he's got that strength and these guys don't. Okay. Start of combat. Five cards. Then we roll the die. Okay, Wallop and Vigilant, that's pretty good to start off with. Five. We get one block, that's it. Five, rolling a five or a one is the worst case scenario for me. Oh no! They're gonna do six damage? She. Well, I think there's only one thing I can do. This is a very boring turn, which has been unusual so far. We'll play two. I'm gonna take damage, unfortunately. Um, two energy to go up three block. And then I'll have to use a mantra to get one energy to wallop. Um, the Taskmaster. That was the way to go. It's unblocked damage, so I get three block. Um, in return. That's the end of the turn. Very, very simple. He'll do one damage and gain a strength token. He'll do three damage and he'll do three damage. Oh, I see. Um, I didn't take any damage at all because of the uh, loaded die. That's good. Next turn. But nothing, I didn't get to set up anything, which was unfortunate. I mean, I'm in calm. So I could erupt and do cool shit. So that's something, but not quite what I'm after. Scroll is good. Prey is good. Well, hold on. I can't play Prey and then scroll. Maybe I don't want to scroll this turn. Prey is enough, I think. Hmm. Oh, let's reset our track. Oh, we need to... Hold on. Two. I get one block from Horncleat. Um, and I get two energy from Sundial. Wow. And I get to draw a card. That was a really good thing. We have so much energy now. I can do a lot this turn. Um, well, we're definitely playing Battle Him. So we'll activate that. Um, I'll cut through Fate, so I can draw before I can play one of these. So we'll do one damage. Oh, we rolled a two as well, so they're gonna hit for four, and he's gonna hit for two. So it's a total six damage we're gonna avoid this turn. Anyway, I've done one damage to this guy. Um, we're gonna scry two, so top two cards. Um, discard and then draw a card. Unfortunately, Brilliance is not good for me right now. I might discard both. Definitely discarding Brilliance because it's unusable. Do I discard Flying Sleeves? No, I'll keep Flying Sleeves. So it goes back to the top of the deck and then I draw a card. So I have that. Um, hmm. Six damage, huh? That's scary. I think we're gonna scroll. Draw five cards. Oh yeah, we're gonna pop off this turn. Did I spend a thing? Wait, hold on. We had three, we got Sundial, went to five, played, battle him, cut through fate, and then scroll. Um, I'm gonna pray for two mantra. This basically just gets me one extra energy and I get to draw two cards. So I just drew through my entire deck on the second turn. Alright, we need to think about blocking. I think we'll erupt. 
right? Spend one to do that. We'll hit this guy for two. And we'll enter Wrath State, but because we were in Calm, we gain two energy. Back up to two energy. Now we're in Wrath, so we'll get our little Strength token. Now, Simmering Fury would be really good, but we just don't have the energy to fuck with it. Fucking... <laughs> I'm going to uh, battle him for damage on this guy. That takes him to three. Then I will flying sleeves for four damage onto the taskmaster. So he's dead. Crisis averted on that guy. He's gone. Because he was going to start getting strong. But now it's not a concern. We're down to one energy, huh? How much are they going to hit me for? Uh, I rolled a two, so they do four damage. I will third eye. There's nothing to scry, so that doesn't work at all. But I'll get three block. Uh, yeah, three block. One, two, three. I'm still going to take a damage though because I'm in Wrath. So I will spend a mantra for one extra energy and go into defense mode. Well, defense mode. That's not what that is. Oh. So basically, like, with the deck I have at the moment, on the second turn, I drew my entire deck, got a shit ton of energy, and um, killed the elite. And didn't take any damage. That's the Watcher. That's the Watcher, baby! Okay. Um, I will take one damage for being in Wrath. He'll hit me for two and daze me. Boom. He'll hit me for two and daze me. Boom. So we're not out of the woods yet. But, um... Let me shuffle this first before... Oh, hang on. Wait. Oh, wait. I had a Protect card. And Windmill. These retain. <laughs> okay, hold on. Don't just throw them away. They retain. <laughs> um, so we'll shuffle and then put those two Days cards on top. So there's still a chance we take damage, but it's... Um, the growing threat has been taken care of. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Plus these. Lasers away. Oh, and we need to roll a die. Wait, reset the track. See what they're doing. See what of mine pops off. I get one block. And they are gonna do two in days once again. So we're trying to dodge five damage if I stay in wrath mode. Which I might just exit. Yeah. This does seven damage plus one because of wrath. So I could, I could kill a guy. So hold on, I have one energy to play with. So this is... Hmm. We do eight. They have 10 health, right? Kill one, that's three damage. I mean, that's three energy. And then I'll spend a mantra Wait, where did I get my block from? Oh, Horn Cleat. Yeah, and then we don't take any damage, right? Let's think about it. These two kill. I spend one mantra, get one block. He does two damage. We're Gucci. Okay. We'll do that. Eight damage for two energy. Um, and then we'll mantra. Go up in energy, defend, um, which gives me the block, he attacks for two. Oh no, I'm still in wrath mode. I will take a damage. No, I should have done it differently, it's too late now, oh well, <laughs> okay. Um, 
Yes, and I will get a day's card. This retains. I hadn't taken damage for ages. One day's card. I should have protected that turn instead of like continuing continuing the assault. I thought my maths was good, it was not. Okay, reset the tr oh, roll reset the track, roll or die. Four. So I get one block from loaded die. And I get to trigger a two ability. Um I'll take the I can draw a card, get two energy. Or get a block. Uh, I think I draw a card, I don't think I need the energy. Okay, we'll start off by playing Prey. Uh, two mantra. Yeah, this is pretty much pretty much gonna win here now. Draw two cards. Um, how much does this do? Eight damage for one mana. Oof! So it's three for every mantra. I have two mantra. Plus the fact that I'm in wrath. Oh, I've got battle hit. Well, fuck me, I forgot about my power. Oh yeah, he's dead. What? Okay, that's that. That means I didn't need to erupt the turn before. So I didn't need to take that damage. But I fucked up, so we'll, we'll keep the damage. But yeah, I fucked up there. No takesy backsies. You want. What do you want? Switch it out. No, it's the snacks. It's good. Okay. Reward time. Two coins. Yeah, I really, I'm annoyed at myself for taking that damage when I didn't need to. But I should have thought about the turn a bit better. We get a relic, which is the whole reason I fucking fight these guys. These coins need to go somewhere else now, I think. Got too many of them. Still haven't been to a shop. 23 dollary dues. Um, where's a good place for my cash? Uh, yeah. <laughs> right next to where they were. I got Vajra. I roll a two, gain strength, and lose it that turn. Okay, there's a lot of things that pop off on a two now. And then I get a reward, and I get an, if I pick one, it's upgraded. Ooh, collect. What is this upgraded? I want Mantra. Yeah, I'm taking this. This synergizes with my deck perfectly. Synergizes with my other deck. And then, that can go away. the thing now I don't need to heal I don't think um, 8 health should be fine I am annoyed though I am annoyed it's true so instead we'll upgrade a card we might have to we might get to the point now where we need to start upgrading defense <laughs> simmering fury that makes it deal extra to 2 oh scroll it's 100% going to be scroll it's going to cost 0 Yep. 100% scroll. Alright, and then it's going to be boss time. Let me do a good shuffle here. I'll reset this. A lot of this will come down to what die I roll. Um, but also we have Ghost in the Jar as a oh shit button. I should put the power card here so I don't forget. Battle him. Alright. Let's set up the boss. Act 2 boss. The Collector. Collecting. 
Yeah, it's 57 health. Mm -hmm. And on his first turn, summon torch heads until there are two for each player. Okay. Well, let's get into it. me just one block. Yeah, that is one in five of the worst rolls I can get. Feels bad, man. That's alright. All right, the only thing he's going to do this turn is... The only thing he's going to do this turn is um, summon dudes. So I'm going to take that opportunity to play Simmering Fury. And I'll collect as well. So I'm going to... I'm not going to bother with the track or anything because it doesn't matter this turn. I'm gonna play these two cards, so maybe I put my power cards up here. And then I'm gonna get three mantra. Bit of a weak turn, but I mean, you know, I'm kind of set up. Okay. He does his turn summon torch head, so there's two for each player. I don't have any AoE. That's a problem with my deck at the moment. Two torch heads. They have nine health? Are you kidding me? Jesus. Oh, they only do one damage a turn. That's not, that's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, he buffs them. Okay, it is the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. That's not good. Boom. Boom. Okay. Rolling. Roll the one. Oh, well, I gotta. Technically, I, I gotta deal first. But a one just gets me one block. Man. Unlike, I keep rolling one and five and one and five. Where's a three or a two? Okay. Oh, brilliance. With this much, mu this much mantra? That's really good. Say this much mantra six times, Megan. Go. Fuck off. I don't need... Who asked you to do that? Who asked you to do that? Fuck off. Alright, so we're going to battle him immediately. One. Um... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm going to... Shut up! I didn't say anything! I'm going to pay one mantra. Right? Right now. And then I'm going to pray. Okay? For two mantra and i did it in that order because there's a max of five so i'm gonna pray draw two cards and now i've got lots of mantra that was a really shit draw that was really bad <laughs> that means there's good cards under there somewhere there's good cards okay so three energy and this turn i'm gonna take three four five damage so I think I'm playing Protect no matter what. Yes. Protect for two. Go up to five. I'm going to Brilliance. Okay, five Mantra. Three damage for every Mantra I have. That's 15 damage. Do I kill a Torch Head? Or do I just put it on the boss? It's a lot of damage. It's an overkill of 5 on the torch head. But then I gotta find a damage for the torch heads next turn. So I think I do. I think I have brilliance. That sucks, dude. No. I don't wanna do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. I take no damage this turn. I'm, you know what? I'm putting it on the collector. Fuck this. 15 damage is a good turn. I retain this card. 
That's my turn. Oh, wait, I have, um, battle him. I'm gonna put two damage on this guy. Okay. Next is their turn. He's gonna do three damage to me. Oh, no, but then it puts strength. Okay, hold on. Pause up. I do need to kill one of the torch heads. I didn't realize... Yeah, okay. Wait, no, how does that work? Rulebook! Save me from my mistake. <laughs> Rulebook, please. Do they appear to the left of the person or to the right? It appears to the left. It appears to the left. He does not act first. Okay, so I'm actually fine. Everything's fine. Let me just do this. And now everything's okay. <laughs> the rulebook did save me. Okay, so I'll take... One damage, two damage, three damage, and they all get a strength token. Which is kind of scary. Cool! Okay. One, two, three, four, five. He moves down this track. Let's reset our track. We could have a pop-off turn, this turn. Poppy! Uh, a bit of Vigilance and then a Rot. Why would we want to erupt? I think we just Vigilance. Maybe we don't pop off this turn. No, but we draw five cards. Oh wait! Roll the die! Draw. A five. Again, that's like the worst fucking thing I could get. Thank you! Alright, I have to think. We could third eye and scry out all the dog shit and then scroll it. We have five mantra. I have like infinite energy. Yeah, let's scry. Well, there's only four cards there. Well, anyway, let's do this properly. So, one energy, three block. We look at the deck and discard whatever we want. Cut through fate, strike, defend, defend. Oh, <laughs> I'm discarding all of them. Um, and I'll just shuffle. That's really good, because now I can scroll and hopefully get some really good cards. I think I need to pop off this turn. So I will scroll for zero. Gets me five cards. Two, three, four, five. Put some dog shit over here. Ah, brilliance! This is what we want to see. Okay. So, I think we need to unwrap this turn. The question is, do we go into the calm state first? Yeah, I think we do. I think we do. We're gonna. This is gonna be a crazy turn. All right. Look at this shit. Watch it. This is fucking YouTube clip incoming. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's like you're a fucking idiot. Okay. First we're going to go into calm mode, 2 energy, 3 block, calm, we'll spend 2 mantra, get 2 energy back, okay, there's a reason I'm doing this. Now we're going to erupt and do 2 damage, i got to think about where this damage goes, it goes here. Absolutely, it goes there. Two damage, we enter Wrath mode. Entering Wrath... Oh, wait, sorry. Spend one, get two back. Alright, because we exited Calm. Next, we pray. For one, this gets us our... Those two, remember, I spent two Mantra, so I can get two back here. We also draw two cards. Look at this. Next, we, um, now we've got Shimmering Fury, which means your damage deal, uh, wait, do I enter Wrath and do the damage? No, it's after, right, yeah. So, 
we spend one to kill this guy. This will do a bit of a two strength tokens. Right? So this will do three damage twice. That will kill this guy. He's gone. Okay, see you later. Dummy! Okay. Um, I didn't spend an energy, I don't think. Now I will spend an energy to Brilliance. Now look at this, I have 5 Mantra, plus 2 Strength, so it's 5 damage, 5 times. That's 25 damage to the boss, you better believe I'm getting in for this. 25 damage, so 20, and then 5. Wow! I have 7 block, so let's think about the rest of the turn. I will be taking... 6, 7, 8, and I'm in Wrath, so I'll take 9. So I think I should... Do I use 2 Mantra to protect? Yeah, I think so. Oh, well, we can take a little damage. We heal the full afterwards. We can take a little damage. How much do I take again? So he will hit for... 2. Which will put me to 5, and he'll hit for 6. This, this is fine. Yeah, I don't need to spend anything. So that means I get to retain these cards. And that's my turn. <laughs> and I still have 5 Mantra for next turn. So, let's go through their dumb shit. He'll hit me for 2. Boom. Did I battle him? I think I did. Let's just say I did. Um, and then he will hit me for six. So that all the way down. Boom. And he's going to do some crazy shit. But I don't need to block a lot for this turn. Okay, next turn. We retained these cards. We'll draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Really need to get rid of these strikes and defense. Wallops. Yeah, it's fine. We need damage. This turn we need to be hitting them really hard. Oh, and they both get a strength token. No, they don't get a strength token. Oh, this boss is fucking easy. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> they're not going to get strong enough quickly enough to win. Okay, we roll a die. Three. That means I draw three cards. Um, and get three block. I finally rolled a three. We're only at the end of Act Two, but we did it. That's one draw, and I gotta shuffle my discard. Two, three. They're dog shit anyway. Yep, <laughs> I'm just gonna put these to the side. We're not considering them. Okay. I'm going to try to draw Brilliance. I'm going to try to draw Brilliance. So we'll spend... Oh, let's, oh, let's reset our energy. Spend one to scry two and draw one. Um, it should be like this. No Brilliance. Flying Sleeve's really good though, so I'm actually going to... I was going to discard both, but I'll draw this. So this will actually do... How much damage will this do? Six. Right? Six damage. Uh, oh, 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 oh. This does seven, ten. No. Nine. This does nine damage. I can kill the boss. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, well, there's a million things we can do this turn, so... Let's kill the boss, because then he won't weaken me. So we'll spend two to do oops. Um, four damage because of Shimmering Fury and the fact I'm in Wrath. And then plus five because I retained it last turn. It's down to eight. 
right? Um, that's all my energy. I'll spend three mantra because I'm going to get three back this turn anyway. Oh, they're that exhausted. I played this. I played this before. This is exhausted. And so is scroll. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, that should be that. Okay, maybe I won't spend three. No, I, no, I should spend as much as I want. It doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, I definitely played this. This should have exhausted. I made a mistake there, but it hasn't actually affected anything. Um, should I spend three? He has eight health. I do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll spend three. Go back up to three. Energy. Um, this does six damage. And then I'll battle him to kill the boss. He's dead. Okay. So, one energy. My battle him is used. And this guy's gonna hit for two. So we're not worried about that. So we just need to hit him. Um, I may as well hit him with everything I have, right? So we'll spend another mantra to go to three and then spend all three to do five, six, seven. No. Five, six, seven, eight. He still doesn't kill him. He hits me for two. Um, as long as I draw a damage card, I win. No, no, I battle him. The fight's over. The fight's over. We don't need to go through the motions. The, as soon as I go to the next turn, I um, battle him and they die. Wow, destroyed another boss. Would you look at that? I'm just going to put my token. I do heal at the end of the act, so I'm just going to put that up now. Reset everything else. That was super cool. 25 damage with one card. Brilliance. Five Mantra. Shimmering Fury. He's a god. Oh no, we need this. <laughs> okay, so our rewards. We get three coins. I really need to get to a shop. So three coins, we get a boss relic. Now it's three and I get to choose one because I'm playing solo. So we have fusion hammer. Start of turn, gain energy. So this is a permanent energy upgrade, but I can't smith at a, um, at a, what do you call it? A campfire, but most of my deck is upgraded. This might be a really good thing. Start of turn, this is the same thing, Coffee Dripper, but I can't rest. I see myself needing to rest more than smithing. Or transform three cards, use it immediately and discard it. I think we will take the, I can't smith anymore, but I have a permanent energy upgrade. That sounds great to me. It means I can upgrade scroll. No, we upgraded scroll. What's a card I'd hate to not be, to be able to upgrade? Because look at it, this is all upgraded so far. Oh, Flying Sleeves could be good. Shimmering Fury could be good, but nah. I mean, the deck the deck is strong. The deck is strong. So I think we'll be okay. So that's that, and we also get a rare reward, which I might end up skipping. One, two, three. Oh, Judgment. I love Judgment. <laughs> Ethereal means if you don't play it that turn it leaves the it exhausts essentially choose an enemy if they have seven hp or less set the hp so kill them if they're below seven establishment is a power start of turn cards you retained last turn costs one less this turn that's really good or omega end of turn deal five damage to any row Bro, but it's three energy uh -oh, I might be reconsidering the, the upgrade thing. That's always going to be three energy. No, but we just got an extra permanent energy. And we have Mantra coming out of our ass. Hmm. I think we take Omega. It's five damage to turn. And it's AoE, which is what I'm lacking. Yeah, we take, we take Omega for sure. 100%. 100%. 
Whoops. Oh. That's just hard for the, uh, I might just shuffle up. Okay. Now I'm going to take a few minutes to set up Act 3. Sick! This is where I make another coffee. No, okay. <laughs> but then it would like reverb and stuff, so you know, yeah. Okay. Oh, just, this is how I land and I'll just go from bottom to top. Left to right, bottom to top. really should get to a shop. I'm curious if there's an event that is a shop. But I'm not going to cheat and look through It's not cheating, but I'm not going to cheat and look through the, uh, the event cards to find out. These handy dandy dividers to keep the cards correct. Very useful. Down, up, down, up. More Come on, energy. keep it going. <laughs> down. You can keep that point, bonus. Down, up, down, up. It feels like I'm coming. He says that in the interview. Come on, one more time. Thank you for the raid, Ben Zainator. I hope that I oh, would have taken a minute. And thank you for the follow as well. And sorry, I didn't. I missed the chat. Low rule and Shanna Rana. I like that name, Shanna Rana. Hmm. Matthew Parker. Hey guys. Are right, we good? Thanks, babe. You're <laughs> All right. Well, we're heading into Act Three. I've—I feel like I have a very powerful deck. I got a big dick, a powerful dick. Stop it. <laughs> and we'll see what boss we're fighting. Oh, I hate that I'm live streaming this because I would cheat if I rolled a five here. I would just cheat and say, "Oh no, I'm not fighting that boss." Yeah, I think. Um, the worst one for me here is the snail, based on my deck. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh, if I wasn't streaming, I'd just cheat it. I would just cheat and I wouldn't fight him. 
I mean, that's if he works the same way as he does in the video game. Alright. I do not know how he works in the board game. And we'll find out. I think we're ready to go here for Act 3. I feel like these cards should be green. Would have been nicer. Um, we good? I think I've set everything up correctly. We go into our first battle. Jawworm, and we summon two jawworms. We fight three of these guys. Oh man, they can really pack a punch. Take me to lunch. My brains, they will munch. It will hurt a bunch. Okay. <laughs> Um, well, let's get, let's get going. First, we, oh, we should put on the, oh, I guess I should do the YouTube segment thing. We're here, we're starting Act 3, okay? Oh, we had a very successful Act 2. Barely took any damage, killed two elites. I've got heaps of uh, relics, as we see here. Um, and the deck's pretty strong. The deck is pretty strong. I'm a little concerned about fighting the snail at the end, but I mean, hey, I'm a capital G gamer. <laughs> I'm a capital B G gamer, board gamer. So we should be okay. Hopefully, we'll find out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we'll roll our die. We rolled a three. This is really good for me. Really good. Rolling a three is amazing. So we get. Pocket Watch gets us to draw three cards. Captain's Wheel gives us three block for free. But it means they're going to hit for three, get strength, and four. So we're looking to block seven damage this turn. We get to draw three cards. I really need to remove these strikes. Okay. I think the first thing I'm going to do is play Omega. At the end of turn... Deal 5 damage to any row. Two turns and these guys are dead, just based off of that. Next, I will Prey. Which will draw me two cards. Unfortunately, scroll, you were worthless here. And get two Mantra. Um, hmm. Thinking what I might do here... I can kill one of them. Yeah, this will work out perfectly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a mantra to get one energy. More energy. Then I'm going to Brilliance for one. Deal three damage for each mantra I have. I have two. I should do six damage to him. And I think I'm going to leave it there. Yes. Down. Up. Down. Up. It's in my head. End of turn. Omega. Wait. End of my turn, right? It's not like the end of the round or something. Wait, I need to make sure because that might change my... Um... End of turn. Relics and powers with this razor uh, trigger at the end of the player turn. Perfect. It works out great for me. So, um, there's no shot. Um, so Omega will activate. We're gonna hit the entire row for five damage. Look at this, I'm a beast, okay? He's dead, he goes to five, he goes to five. All right, put that guy away. Go back to your home, it's nice and cozy. Oh, Neil Breen. Go back to your own country. Go back to your own country. Fix things there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now we'll do their attacks. I rolled a three. So this guy is going to do three damage and get one block. There's three damage there. But I have three block. And this guy's going to block th for three and get a strength. And I'm not too worried because I have Omega 
popping off. All I need to do is three damage to him and one damage to him and I win the fight. All right, next turn, we'll reset our energy to four because I have fusion hammer. Draw five cards. Well, collect is pretty good. Not finding the damage. No, I have damage. I think I, I think I'm all right here. We'll roll a die to see what happens. Another three. I draw three extra cards. Get three block for free. Three cards from here. Three for free. Three for free. <laughs> three block from Captain's Wheel. There's all my defense and strikes. Who wants them? Not me. Um. I have no card draw this turn, so I don't think it's an auto win. No, it is. It absolutely is. So we'll spend two to wallop um, this guy, which will remove the block. I'm not doing unblocked damage, so I don't get any. I don't get any block, but that's okay because he's going to die to Omega, and I just need to spend one more to strike, remove this, end my turn. Omega pops five damage each. What an amazing card. Jesus Christ. What an amazing fucking card. Alright. Oh wait, I need my reward. So let me just... Clean the play space here. Down. Up. Okay. So we get two coins. I definitely need to go to a merchant. I might um, give three back and get a five. Beautiful bag of coins here. The um, coins that come with the normal edition of these, they look like this. I, uh, <laughs> I prefer the, the special ones, of course. Next, we need to decide where we're going. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm not done yet. I get a reward card. A reward, reward pick. So draw three, pick one if you want it, or skip. Just lucky. Attack and scry, or attack and block. Block one, or block one if you're in wrath. Ah, look, my deck's really strong. Let's not dilute it any further. Okay. Now we need to seriously consider the path we're taking here. We cannot, because of Fusion Hammer, we can't upgrade cards anymore. So... Hmm. We need to hit a shop. In fact, I've got so much money, hitting two would be really nice. We could take the path of least resistance, you know? Event, event, encounter, shop, encounter, shop, and then heal if I need it. Or... Encounter, event, heal if we need it. Event, encounter, shop, heal if we need it. I think we go this way. We hit two shops, which gives us a chance to get some cool relics. Usually I seek out Elites for cool relics. That's how we got most of these. But we've got the money now. Um, we can just do it without, you know, possibly dying or taking damage. So I think I know my path. We'll take the path of least resistance and head up. Take our first event card here. You have a bonfire spirits. You happen upon a group of spirits dancing around a large bonfire. As you approach, they turn to you expectantly. <laughs> Offer. Remove a card. If it's uncommon, heal for three. If it's rare, heal to full. If it's a curse, lose one HP. This is really good for me, actually. Um, I'm at full health, but I don't care. I want to get rid of a shit card. Do we want to get rid of defense or strikes? One, one. And two, uh, two one. Three, one. Three, two. Four, three. So we'll get rid of a strike. 
we have an extra strike. Oh yeah, here's the defend I removed earlier. So I'll just remove that. That's, that was a free card removal. It's perfect. I'm going to pay money to remove cards from my deck, so... Alright. Move up. And another event. A note for yourself. Behind a loose brick, you find a folded card. It reads, the heart awaits. This is your handwriting. Exchange. Give a player a card in your deck. They give you a card in their deck. Well, there's no other player. Or take... A, or take a cardboard from another player. Does this work for, um... Solo play? I'll take... Oh, I can take a reward from another character's rewards deck. That character doesn't have to be playing. Oh. Well... Hmm. I don't think, um... I don't know, the Ironclad... Oh, uh, no, I'll try the Silent. So here's, here's the Silence reward deck. Um... Cool. Wait, spot weakness. This is the Ironclad. I don't want the Ironclad, I want the Silent. Hold up, hold up. I could get something really cool from here. The reason I'm picking the Silent is because the Silent has poison cards. If I can just get one card that poisons, it will pay off. But if not, I'm probably gonna skip the reward. So, Blur, Acrobatics, Escape Plan. Oh, Escape Plan's really good. We'll draw three cards, discard one. No, I think we could go Escape Plan. Because it replaces itself, it costs zero, and you can possibly get a block. That's... Uh, yeah, no, no, that's just good. It cycles. Yeah. Doesn't dilute my deck at all. The only bad interaction um, I could have with it is um, when I pray, I can't draw cards. That's the only negative thing. But I think that's fine. I just play it first. So yeah, there is actually no negative to this card. And it's interesting that I have a silent card in my Watcher deck. So that's pretty cool. Next, we have an encounter. So we'll draw our encounter card. And we need to summon a Repulsor and a Spiker. A spiker? How do we even know? Okay. Well, the Exploder <laughs> dies for 10 damage after 3 turns. That's kind of scary. Oh, it adds a cube, okay. And the spiker looks a little scary. Although if I get battle him, that's good for me. Okay, this it actually looks a little scary, this fight, but we'll see how we go. So we'll draw for, oh wait, did I shuffle this? I don't think I shuffled this. Let's just make sure. So this guy's gonna hurt if I attack him. And he's gonna hurt for more the longer I leave him. This guy exploits for 10, which is scary. Alright, draw 5, 3, 4, 5. Oh, there's Omega! <laughs> and battle him. Oh my god, and collect. This, this fight's over. Sorry guys, I thought I'd make this... I wanted to make an interesting uh, video here, but I just I'm just too good at the game. So, um, it's actually going to be quite boring. <laughs> Alright, well, here we go. I'll sp the first thing I'll do is I'll spend three energy to play Omega. I'll spend 
one energy to and I'll exhaust it to collect three mantra. Oh, I didn't roll a die. I didn't roll a die. Whoopsie. Hold on. I just saw my draw and how amazing it was. Hold on. Things happen. So he's going to do this and he's going to... So they're going to hit for five total. And he's going to hit for three. So they're going to hit for eight. But some cool things happen. Sundial activates. I get two energy. Horn Cleat activates. I get one block. I draw a card from the Codex. And I gain a strength token that goes away at the end of the turn. Just for rolling a two on the dice. On the die. How fucking cool is that? Alright, I'll battle him for one. I'll, um... Oh, so this guy adds a thorn at the start of battle. Um... Well, I'm just gonna win. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna spend a mantra... ...to get one energy. I'm going to wallop the spiker. He hits me for one before I hit him, but that's blocked. And then I'll, um... Actually, I have no block cards. Hold on, let's, let's think about this. Oh no, let's just keep going. I committed. So I'll get three block back. He'll go down three. Um... Because I just realized I'm probably going to take damage this turn. I got too excited. I'll battle him, this guy, so he's going to die. Um, I have strength too. I've got to have strength. He's actually going to take one extra damage. I'll strike this guy um, for two because I have strength for the turn. I think I have to spend another mantra to make that happen. I lost track, sadly. Um, and that will put him to five. I'll be I'll be more clear about what I'm doing next time. And then I can do two. I can do three damage. Oh, I can just win this turn. So I'll spend my last two mantras to to play this for three damage because I have the strength. That will put him to five. I'll end my turn. Omega does five to every creature, and they all die. That was a first turn no damage thing. a strong deck <laughs> oh my rewards I keep I keep going to put the card away but I want my rewards reset my tracks here I'll be more diligent about tracking the energy next time but I'm pretty I'm like 99% sure I did that correctly one coin for me and then a card reward which I'll probably skip I don't see much of anything that's going to make me want this. This is interesting, Rushdown. That's actually pretty good, but I have so many ways to draw cards. I think we're just making the deck worse by adding any. So, we'll skip. Okay, that's that done. Next I'll go to the merchant. This is my first merchant. <laughs> um, my first merchant and we're in Act 3. So what we need to do is fill up the merchant track here. So we're going to do this. And three potions. Oh, here's a question. In the video game you can only have three potions at a time. I wonder how many you can have in the game. Because there's a relic called Potion Belt that increases the amount of potions you can have. Let's find out. Is there an example for potions? Card types. No, no, no. Is this a setup? Potion, 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 potion. Is there... Surely there's like an FA... Well, there is an FAQ, but like where would I find this? Is 
it, I can't find anything to do with potions. No, it doesn't. I'm just gonna, since I can't find anything about it, I'm just gonna, oh, here we go, potion. Draw a card from the potion deck. You can't have more than three potions. Worked it out. All right, so it's time to shop. Oh, another thing that happens is you draw three cards and you can buy these. And the, their price is based on their rarity. Oh, <laughs> these aren't in frame. I'll put them in my play area. All right, so how much money do I have? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 29. Greater starter strike and attack and then discard them. And then discard this item. So I just so I pay 7 to upgrade a strike and defend. Oh no no, a strike and an attack. Do I have any attacks that are good that need to be upgraded? Power scry, maybe. Flying sleeves could upgrade, that's seven. And I think I'm gonna buy Mercury Hourglass, that's 13. I think I'm gonna buy Energy Potion and Swift Potion, that's 17. I said I had 29. And this is six. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna. Oh, but we also wanna remove a card. So if I buy everything I want, how much will it cost me? 3, 10, 16, 22, 24, 26. I'd have no money and we're going to another merchant. So maybe I should save a little bit of cash for whatever's on sale at the next one. So which two relics do I really want? I don't think Sharon's Ashes is that good. I'd rather do one damage and not exhaust a card. Okay, so I'm not going to buy any of these cards either, I don't think. Wait, end of turn if you're in calm. Oh, eh. Start of turn if you're in calm, draw two cards. This would be really good if I had like more than one way to enter calm. So I'm not going to worry about the cards here. I'm not going to buy any cards. And for the shop, I will spend three. We'll, we'll track this, we'll do it bit by bit. Spend three to remove a card. Um, I'm going to remove a strike. I'm pretty sure I have one more, and that's the one that will upgrade for us here. Yes, so I'm spending three to remove a strike. You can't do the removal service more than once. I'd love to. I would remove fucking ten cards that um, I make a super deck, but yeah, that's broken. So. Um, that's done. Next I'll spend, um, how can I do this? I'm going to have to trade this for a five. Okay. Next I'll buy the whetstone for seven. Upgrade a starter strike and another attack. So let's find a strike. Oops. Look at all these upgraded cards. Think about that. Okay, so strike gets upgraded. I don't really care about the strike getting upgraded here, but um, I think we'll upgrade flying sleeves. Every other attack is upgraded. <laughs> okay, so we'll upgrade flying sleeves. Now it hits three times. Next. So we bought this, it gets discarded. Go to the bottom of the deck. I will buy Mercury Hourglass for six. And just add that there. I'm going to buy two potions uh, for four. So I'll put a five and put this back. That leaves me with nine gold. 
um, for maybe there's a relic that's on special, and I can get rid of a card, so that will work out. And I, yeah, that will make. And now I can buy both of these potions. Here goes all the money. <laughs> all right. Just give this a shuffle, because the next thing we're doing is an encounter. Mantra. Okay. Encounter. Spire Growth. It has 28 health. And turn one, it does nothing. Alright, let's get into it. Draw five. Hmm. We'll roll our die. It'll tell us what he does. Well, he's doing nothing this turn, no matter what. But next turn it will tell us what we're doing. And it's going to activate our relics. I'll roll the two. So, one damage to any row. Two energy, more energy. I get a strength this turn. Just for this turn though, we get to draw a card. See what happens when I roll a two, Jesus Christ. And we get a block. Let's make sure we did everything. A block, draw a card, strength. Two energy. Do you want to uh, anywhere? Now this is super cool because I can scry out. Uh, this is going to be cool. Okay, we've got six energy. We might be able to kill him in one turn. <laughs> Maybe. Um, let's find out. So, we're going to scry for one. It's going to give us some block. The block doesn't matter this turn, though. And scry. Keep the auto. One, two, three, four, five cards. We can look at these cards and discard any of them that we like. So, I'm going to discard Defend. We want the Brilliance, we want the Prey. Um, and I think we're going to get rid of the... No, yeah, so, yeah, no, no. We want to discard anything that doesn't do damage this turn. So we're going to discard those. These stay in the same order. And you'll see why this is important in just a second. Then I'm going to collect. Get three Mantra. Then I'm going to scroll for free and draw five cards. So I just culled out a bunch of shit cards, right? Well, cards that don't help me right now. One, two, three, four, five. These are mine now. All right, we'll spend a energy to battle him. Battle him? I don't do it every time. I do it. I do it sometimes. So we'll spend energy to battle him. Then we're going to spend an energy to erupt. Right. This is going to do two damage. Put us into wrath mode. Then we're going to battle him, and because we're in wrath, we'll do four damage. We are not even done yet. Watch this. Then I'm going to spend one more to. Um, pray. Now, this will put me over my mantra limit, but you can immediately. I read the rules. If you get an extra mantra, you can use it to spend on a card immediately, which is what I'll do. Boom. We draw two cards. Maybe I should spend them on something else. Before I look at these cards, because if I get. Um, if I get. What's it called? It's like that power that increases my... Um... No, it's alright. We'll just do this. Anyway, we're going to play Brilliance and get these two cards. Brilliance does three damage for every um, Mantra I have. But I also have Strength, so it's four damage per Mantra. I have five Mantra, that's 20 damage. That puts him down to one health. And then I'll just strike him. Look at that. First turn kill, and I still have five energy that I can collect. There's so many things I can do. 
I'm proud of this deck. This dick I got right here, this dick, I'm proud of it. First turn kill. It's the power of scrying. And then... Um, and then drawing five cards. It does feel like I'm playing the, uh, the video game here. So we get one coin for that. We get a potion. And we can only draw, we can only hold three. I don't want that one so it can go away. And we get a card reward. One, two, three. Um, Sands of Time, retain. Three damage, plus two for each other card with retain in your hand. Hmm. I don't think we're hurting for damage. I think I just proved that we're not hurting for damage. We don't need to complicate this any more than it is. All right, next we're going to go to, I was hoping to get a little bit more cash from that fight. I think we have exactly, um, oops, I'm going to, um, I didn't mean to, uh, what am I saying? Shit! Yeah, I wish I had more money. Well, I was hoping, yeah, I would get more money from the... from that fight, but that's okay. Okay, so we'll move up to the shop. So we put out our three relics. We'll do the top space in the sales spot. One, two, three. And then three potions. Pretty much, ha I don't, I can't see a potion I would want more than the three that I have right now. Now the thing is, I my deck's really strong because I can play a lot of cards in a single turn. But the boss, remember how I was saying, Megan? Remember how I was saying I don't want this boss in the video game? If you play twelve cards, he kicks you out of your turn, and he gets to go, and he gets stronger. So you're on a twelve-turn clock. And my deck is all about doing a shit ton of stuff in one turn, so uh oh, that's okay. All right, what um, what are things have we got in the shop yet? For seven, I can upgrade the start of defend and a skill. That's pretty good. Once per room, minus one room. I'm not even gonna. I don't care. Once per room. Oh, I don't even know how many. I have exactly ten, right? Yeah, so I'll buy this for seven and I'll remove a card. Okay, so I'm gonna buy wall paint. That means I upgrade a defend card. Wait, I gotta make sure I have two defends. Okay, so I'm gonna spend three to remove a defend card. Let's just spend that now. Um, and then we're gonna buy war paint. Which is upgrade a starter defend. So this. And any skill card. So let's see, that's a power. I should not be doing this. Wait, do I even have a skill card that's not upgraded? Uh oh. I've got another defense that's not upgraded. Oh, escape plan. We can upgrade this escape plan. Do I get to draw two cards? I'll just remove the condition. So it's a cycle with a free block. That's pretty cool. So I bought that for seven because it's on sale, it's minus one. That's all my cash. Then we'll go here. Um, I can't upgrade cards because of Fusion Hammer. And I'm at full health, so resting doesn't do anything. So the only thing left is the final boss. Now I will say this, I've not opened it. But there are difficulty levels. <laughs> ascensions. Um, ascensions, just like in the video game, exist. So you can actually go into the fourth act. Um, 
if you wanted to. Oh, so there we go, Ascension 1. So um, I, haven't, I haven't bothered to fuck around with that, but you can. It exists. But this will be the end of the game for me, for this play. Okay, I'm very afraid of- I hate this boss in the video game. He kicks my heart. I mean, I usually kill him, but it's always a very difficult fight. Okay, we're gonna reset our board here. And yeah, let's start the final boss. Time Eater. Oh my gosh, she has 60 health. That's not that bad. 60. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that, because when he kicks my ass, I'll be like, Oh, 60 health is a lot. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm, f I'm fucked, boo. Okay. How does he work? Five. Time warp. Each player can't play more cards this turn than the number on the clock. So I can only ever play five cards a turn? Are you kidding? I draw five for, f for fun. Oh, and he does four damage. And then the second turn I can only play four cards, and then the third turn I can only play three cards. Oh, I need to get those power cards cooking immediately. Yeah, shit, my deck, he is the antithesis to my deck. The other, I would have shit on the other bosses. But uh, yeah, this one. Oh no. What happened to the whale? Doing his little butt. Mm -hmm. Cute. Alright, well, we may as well just start, right? I'll draw five cards. Our track's good. Yeah. Okay, but he doesn't kick me out of my turn. I just... Now, escape plan's terrible. Escape plan is not a card I want anymore. Nuts. I'll start off by praying. Get two mantra. Draw two cards, but I can't draw any more. I think going into calm is a smart idea. Four cards to play with. I think I'll spend a mantra just to go up one so that I can play collect and get three. Oh, no, sorry, that goes into the exhaust pile. Three cards to play with. Oh, I didn't roll. Fuck me. Got one. That's the worst one for me, right? I oh, know I do one damage to him. And I get one block. So I've played two cards, I have three that I can play with. So I'm going to go into Vigilance, uh, into Calm Mode, so that will cost two. I'll get three block. I'll spend a Mantra, which is a shame because I'm not going to get any more Mantra for a while. I've played three cards, because I need to do damage to him. Do I, do I need to Wallop? He hits for four. Do I need to wallop? I think I'm better off playing this. It's the same damage for one. I think I can escape plan. Yeah, I can. Because what if I draw, like, Omega or something? Yeah, I think it's... No, I prayed! I can't draw anything! I'm an idiot! I have two cards to play with. We do this, and hit him for three, and I just can't do anything with these. I retain Protect, the rest goes in Discard, oh, and I can only draw four, I can only do four things next time. That's okay, it's okay, it's not really okay, but it's okay. Um, we'll go into his turn, he hits for four. I'm all good. Oh, I do enter calm mode. Can't forget that. I entered calm mode. Hits for four. Nothing else happens. And we will go into 
the next turn. So I draw five cards. Scroll is... No, it's not worthless. Actually, scroll is not worthless. Because I could scroll right now, get my power cards and play them. Because he's not going to hurt me. Can I retain these? Yeah, let's scroll. So I draw five. I'm, so, I'm just digging through the deck to get something good. Oh my god, all the worst cards. Well, you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> so I've played one card, I have three to play with now. Oh wait, wait, oh I didn't roll again! Roll, please! Two. Um, so that puts me to six energy. But I played uh, zero, so I'm at six energy. I get strength this turn. I do one damage. I get one block. And I draw an extra card. Yes. Okay, so I will play, I'm just gonna, this is gonna be a setup turn. Two to play Shimmering Fury. That puts me at two cards played out of four. One to play Battle Him. That's three cards out of four. And then all Brilliance for one. Um, and this, because I have the Strength token from um, Vajra, this will do four damage per Mantra. I have four Mantra. Wait, didn't I spend one of these? No, I, no at the, en the end of the day I didn't spend one, that's true. So... Four times five is twenty, right? Yeah. Um, so he'll lose twenty health, and that's my card limit for this turn. We retain these two. The rest go away. Oh, and I um, do two damage with battle him. He does three of these into my exhaust pile. I into not my exhaust pile, my discard pile. The strength token goes away. Can't forget to roll this fucking die. Okay. And then we go to the next turn. We draw a five. So we're gonna shuffle this. Go back up to four and zero. There's Omega. We were looking for you, buddy. Oh, it had to, yeah, it had to turn up. Brilliance again. That's really good. Okay. We can play three cards. Roll a die. Oh, he's going to hit me for six. Hmm. So I rolled a six. The only thing that activates is I can choose anything to activate. Maybe I'll take the block. Because I have no other way of blocking this turn. Yeah, true. I could drink a swift potion. To draw cards. Because I'm about to do a bunch of damage. I need the block. Yeah, I definitely need the block. I don't know why I'm thinking about this. So I'm going to activate Captain's Wheel and get three block. Lucky for me, oh, I actually have, oh, I have Protect. So, these are the cards I retained from last turn. So I can play three cards, but we don't need to worry about the strike. I think I definitely play Brilliance. I think we go Omega, Brilliance, and Protect. We have four energy. We might have to spend some Mantra. So what we'll do is play Brilliance for one. Three damage um, per mantra. We have five mantra, fifteen damage. So that's ten. Um, and then oh, he's down to eighteen health. Um, so that's that. We can play two more cards. He's going to hit for six. 
Um, this does seven currently. I think we can spend the mantra. I think it's fine. So I'm gonna protect for two. Should give me four block up to seven, and I'm gonna spend one mi uh, two mantra to go up two energy to play Omega. Um, and then at my end of my turn, well, before we end the turn, we're gonna do two damage because I battle him. I'm gonna do five damage at the end of my turn due to Omega. That's that turn. Oh wait, hold on. Windmill strike stays because it retains. Oh mate, we need to, yeah, I'm fine. I don't know why I was worried. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my deck's strong as fuck. Okay, he hits for six, which puts me down to one, and he gets a. Oh no, the first time the time eater reaches. Wait, the... Oh wait. Uh oh. I should have read the second part here. Nothing's ha It's everything's fine, but uh oh, that's not good. And he gets a strength token. And then we go back up to the top. So Haste says here, the first time Time Eater reaches 0 HP, it immediately heals 30 HP per player, gains a strength token, and removes all of the weaker vulnerable tokens. That's not that big of a deal. It's not going to be as quick as a kill as I thought. Okay, draw five cards. But now we can play five cards in a turn again. Thank God. Jesus. Um, and... We are going to roll a one. One does one damage to him and gives me a block. That's it. So I'm gonna reset that. The block's there. Okay, we have five cards to play with. We escape plan. Alright, he's gonna hit for six this turn. Oh, spooky. So we'll play this. This draws us a card and gives us a block. Oh, that's a shit draw. We're going to pray to get our mantra back and draw two cards. We're looking for a eruption, but I'm drawing all my shit cards. Fuck me. We've played two cards out of five so far. I think we cut, cut through fate. Now I, now I don't want to erupt. Fuck. Um, scry two and then draw one. There's Wallop. Wallop's probably the best thing here. I'm not going to discard anything. We'll draw this. Um, I'm at two block. So Wallop. Spend two on Wallop. Right. That'll do three damage. And I'll get three block. Go to five. I think I can take a damage here. I can spend a mantra to block the damage, but I just don't think it's worth it. Man, I was hoping to pop off this turn specifically. It's gonna have to be next turn. Rip. Oh well, and. Oh wait, hold, well, hold on. We're not quite done here. Battle him, two damage, and then end of turn. You'll... Oh, this is actually really bad for me. Fuck. Okay, well hold on, we haven't ended turn yet. We're not ending turn, because he's going to get a strength token. Which means he is going to hit for, instead of six, it's going to be eight. So I do need to get some more defense. So I will spend two mantra... To go into calm for three. I'm already in calm, but you know, what are you gonna do? Then I'll end turn. It's hoping to have five mantra for brilliance. It's a shame, but it's all good. Um, this is gonna pop. The first time Tommy Eater reaches zero HP, it immediately heals to 30. So, right fucking now, not at the end of the turn, all that dumb shit. And it's going to get a strength token. So it has two strength tokens. It will now hit for eight. Which will remove my block all the way down. But hey, I didn't take damage. And we'll go to the next turn. Jesus Christ. 
Still haven't gone into erupts mode. It's like where all my damage comes from. Just so Well, he doesn't do any damage this turn, so I can actually... Yeah, this is like a free turn for me. And my deck just shuffled, so I'm not worried about those days status cards. There's Eruption. Yeah, I think we're gonna... Blow this motherfucker up. Okay. So... Alright. We only get to play four cards, so I need to be careful here. So we're going to erupt for sure. That's happening. Oh no, no, hey, hold on. Roll the motherfucking die. The five yeah, five is the worst one I could get. One block. Okay. So we will erupt. Come out of calm, gain a strength token. Coming out of calm gives us two energy, which it doesn't really matter because we can't spend it. We'll play flying sleeves for one. There's two, four, six, but we do an extra thing because of shimmering fury. So it's actually three, six, nine. So that takes them to 21 damage. Like remaining HP, I should say. Oh, and sorry, Eruption does two damage, so um, that puts them to 19. Um, I've played two cards out of four. We'll hit him with the Battle Hymn. We're in Wrath mode, so it does an extra two damage. Take him to 15. Um, now. I can't attack and escape plan at the same time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scry to set up my next turn. I get to look at the top five cards and discard anything I want. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm just looking for damage, okay? Just looking for damage cards. So we're going to discard, 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 discard. I'm going to discard all of these. There was one damage card in there, but I don't care. There's better damage cards in my deck. Don't give a shit about that. We get three block for playing third eye, and we lose a uh, energy. And for my final card, <laughs> that's my secret. My deck has no has no bad cards. We will um, play windmill strike for two. That's two and plus five it was, if it was retained. But remember, we have strength, so that's three damage, and shimmering fury, so it's four damage. Four plus five is nine. He will go down to six health. Oh my god, no! <laughs> He's <laughs> um, Omega, I'll end my turn. Omega will pop and he'll go down to one health. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. One HP remaining. Maybe if I'd done the maths a bit earlier, I would have um, done things a bit differently to kill him. But nah, this, is, this has gone well. He's going to add three of these into my discard pile. I'm not really worried about these because I have Scry. These have not played an issue. I have not played any role. I auto win because of Battle Him and Omega, but let's see what we draw just in case. So we'll put them down the track. One, two, three, four, five. I'll reset our track. There's Brilliance. There's Prey. Let's hit him where it hurts. We have three cards we can play. Oh, I also took one damage from Wrath, but I had plenty of block. So that's, I had, I, I had five or so. So we'll play Prey. Oh no, hold on. Roll the die. Another five, just means we get one block. We'll play Prey, get two Mantra. Um, and draw two cards. And then, the coup de gras. He has one HP left. Let's hit him where he hurts, okay? Spend one mana to brilliance. Three damage for every mantra I have. But, 
I have Strength, so it's 4 damage. I have Shimmering Fury, so it's 5 damage. That's 25 damage. Battle him in for 4, it's 29 damage. And then Omega, when I end my turn, 34 damage. What a loser! Negative 33 damage. Feels pretty good, dude. And that's it. I guess I won the game. Um, looking back at no point, because I uh, have a superior, very large, wrinkly brain, at no point during this playthrough was I ever challenged, but it's because I um, really took the time to consider what was in my deck. I skipped many cards once I knew I had my winning combo, and I mean, it's been uh, shown throughout. Also, going for elites early, just like in the video game, you should try to fight the elites. You will get relics, and the relics have, were instrumental in the win. Didn't even need to pop my potions. Um, really good. If you think, whoa, I'm really good at Slay the Spire, um, like the video game, what, am I just going to smash this board game over and over? Maybe, but I mean, there's Ascension, like I was saying before. There are, there are difficult, there are 10 difficulty levels in this. And you can fight the heart as well. I haven't opened those cards yet, but um, you can go to Act 4, and it works sort of the same way as in the video game, where you need to um, give up a resting spot to get the red key. You need to skip gaining a relic for the sapphire key, and so on and so forth. So it scales up just like the video game. I'm giving this board game a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10! Uh, it fucking rules. And look, they even put in like achievements if you want to do those. A daily climb, which like adds, you can like randomly add colorless cards. They have put so many different ways to play this game. And don't forget, there's four characters. They all have different play styles. Um, I sort of had a draw, wrath, blow up mantra build it could have easily have been a stay in calm and draw a billion cards and do this or that or if you're playing the ironclad it could be a block build or a rapid attack build or a poison build for the silent uh, so on and so forth so with the um many ways to play each character um the the random ways to add colorless cards the extra difficulty levels the fourth act all these things, you're, you're definitely getting your, you're definitely getting your, <laughs> your money out of this game, especially if you like to slay the spire. And not only that, I mean, I'm just, you know, making this little video and it's, you know, the, you know, this is just like a solo playthrough or whatever, but you can play this with friends, right? You can play this with four people and like, you know, more enemies turn up and AoE becomes a much bigger factor. I didn't have many AoE cards, but they would have been super effective because it hits everybody. If you had four players here, imagine four sets of enemies and you do like cleave from the ironclad and it hits everybody, or they do an AoE attack like this guy, he, you know, he hits everybody for two, uh, twice. Um, that's scary, he's gonna hit everybody for four. Um, so, I mean, it scales up with players in a super cool way. And you'll notice, um, for example, there are a lot of cards that interact with other players. Give plus two block to any player. Give three block to any player. Um, we even had, I have a silent card in here because I, um, because of the note in the door um, event that I got, but I mean, I could have traded a card with another player and we could have like made our decks more refined so um yeah i mean ex i'm extremely impressed um i'm impressed by like the way that it's organized i'll just show that off one more time like with all the with all the dividers um you can also save your game let's say we were playing and we did act one and we ran out of time you should just put your deck and everything in this in this little bag for the defect and there's one for each player um, so you can save and pick it up later. Um, but yeah, the organization is really cool. The, um, the metal coins are like the thing that impresses me the most. They also come in this like little cloth bag, which is cool. Metal coins are awesome. And yeah, just like the 
the play mats are beautiful. Um, I was that was the first thing when I opened the box. I was just like, oh my god, look at these! I didn't even didn't even know they were fucking play mats because you know I kickstarted this you know, a year and a half ago or whatever. Um, I'm just thoroughly so much so that like I wanted to stream this. I'm like thoroughly impressed. Super cool, super cool stuff. I mean, the only downside is like a long setup time, but I mean, I mean, fuck, what, what complex game, board game doesn't have a long setup time? I would put it on par with like Stardew Valley setup time, probably, maybe a little bit longer, but with the dividers and everything and the way you sort the, um, the way everything's sorted, I mean, I streamed this, you could see how long it took me to set up each act. It wasn't that much, I just took away these cards. Put the next set down, flip the board over, put down the things, and we were good to go. So it's not that bad. So yeah, thoroughly impressed. Guess I'll keep chatting as I pack up here, but oh, well, <laughs> actually, here's the longest part because now that I won the run, I gotta unupgrade every card, <laughs> and my entire deck's upgraded pretty much. But yeah, I mean. Pretty cool. And yeah, that was just the Watcher. I'm, I'm excited to play as, you know, all the different characters and maybe go... F There's nothing stopping you from just doing the Ascension stuff, but like, you know, try to like unlock it by getting the keys and all that, or going to the heart by doing the keys and all that sort of thing, so... It's pretty cool. What do you think, Megan? <laughs> what do you mean by that? I could not have sustained three and a half hours four hours You don't I think? Have, I would have no voice left and I would just be like Bleh. You know I did a six and a half recording session going over the law of Kingdom Hearts, yes, right? I, <laughs> I did lose my voice for that though. Yeah nah. Sick game. hot and sweaty. Basically every single one of these cards is upgraded. <laughs> oh, that's a silent card. Keep that separate. Now well here's the real question. Would Megan ever want to play with me and do a single act of this game or is it does it seem a bit too heady? Because I mean, you heard me talk, I was talking through every turn, so it's just like, oh, I do this, energy go down, this makes this go up, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. It's I don't know. A... Yeah, I sort of guessed as much. No, it's fine. I mean, it's not fine, I don't, you know. Yeah. But I mean, you can play solo, so that's super cool. I, I love that when I said that to you, just like, that's really sad. I'm like, no, that's really good. It means I get to play the board game. What do you mean? No, Joel, it's really sad. I'm never lonely. You want to know why? No, because I have my brain. I can infinitely entertain myself. <laughs> And we have the, I didn't, this is like another little um, storage container here. It did feel really good, like refining the deck so much so that like I'm doing, what was that final turn? Like 34 damage? In a single turn, and like this is a much smaller number game than the than the video game. So um, like you can't just like stumble into that. You gotta like think about. It. I mean, there's an aspect of luck, right? Because you're drawing cards. But I mean, if I was just randomly picking cards, you know, it'd be pretty tough to make that happen. So I feel pretty good about that. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Um, I'm actually 
really happy with like how the setup went and everything you know the shot and the framing and everything so stay tuned we might uh <laughs> have some ideas for other board games to record and play because i have a bunch i'd love to play them now there's like even a better excuse to do it so yeah, hope you had a good time, and yeah, if you have any questions about the game or tips or corrections, because I did make some mistakes, um, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you very much. Bye!